don't like me, fair enough. OMG, you scaring us. I think my ops got Bluetooth, cause them boys just keep pairing up. Why you keep comparing us? All these girls keep sharing us. I could chill and leave with one, but I just don't uh, care enough. Chick too thick, but I think I can. Ass too fat, belly fit my hands. Face on sheesh, damn God, ass on whoop. Goddamn, I had plans, she ran into me. That thing is a leave, so I switched my plans. My bitch bad, no stranger to me. No sand to the beach, but I bring my sand. Uh, I was down, they was mocking me. Talking plural, apostrophe. Now it's cribs all across the board, man. This shit feel like monopoly. Got a spot you would like to see. Wanna stay, take advice from me. Every day I'm chasing meals, so you gotta cook more than twice a week. Yeah. Wanna link this week, yeah. Wanna link this week, yeah. Wanna link this week, yeah. Just get with me this week, yeah. Just like the story on For the nights he might not make it From this shit that's going on But he feeling like he made it When he put that rollie really on Gotta make it out the trenches With this gift inside of me When you tell me be realistic It sound like you doubted me They masking up like Halloween But blocking goals like soccer team Design your clothes with spotting beams Where this collab is not supreme Anything is possible When the Lord is watching you If I could make it, you could make it What the fuck is stopping you? I won't tell you that it's easy Cause it come with obstacles But when you get it, don't be greedy Some shit you got to do it, girl. Two jokers, just some shit he ain't gonna deal with. Some people wanna feel, other people wanna feel trip. We all just wanna build. I just need someone to build with till the day he call me up. He said, I gotta come home and nobody hold me up. I remember days was crazy, ain't nobody thought it was. So don't get me started up. They don't want it more than us. They just want it cause it's us. They just want the shit we want because we want it, man. That's tough. Even though I put in work, I This is a Will Easy production. I'll speak a nigga ease, nigga. Nigga ease. <laughs> Let's see if I get to this song. I got it. I got it. Too much running through my head at once. Fuck it. Roll another punch. Swear these bitches worse than niggas. And these niggas act like cunts. And I ain't here to make no friends. I'm just here to build my funds. I ain't worried about no hater. Focused on no bitch. Man, I'm all about. My paper, I do this for my clique. I can tell you get two shit, cause my name all in your lips. I can't you too much talking, cause I'm coming with them clips. Nobody care what you talk about. You talk a good game, can you walk it out? You rent your space, I own the house, my bank account got large amounts. I get my dough straight from the poor. I pay what you make in child support. Niggas say it out loud or the low support. Guess we gonna turn white gates off. So if you say that I ain't fired, you a liar. I can show it proves. Say that I ain't fired, you a liar. Show it proof. I can 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 show
show with pro. I gotta get this cake. My money cannot wait. Believe when I say. Cause I stay on my grind, boy. I gotta lead the way. On my knees when I pray. That for those who betray. Call that silent crime, boy. So everybody talking out they mouth Certified to save a nigga But fuck it, just let him drown I ain't never going down Promise I tend to keep it She don't care if you her man Cause nigga, you ain't me Smoking weed and popping bottles Yup, that's me in VIP Can't GE out my dollars, nigga I ain't TLC But I'm always on the creep Getting head from a freak Shorty brilliant with the head But she ain't got a degree All oh, hell and praise me I'm the hood in Jersey City on my own, never ask for a favor Shocking niggas with my flow like a fucking taser If you try to take mine, you gon' be Jamaica Chillin' in Jamaica, with a bad Jamaican Realest nigga out, all y'all other niggas fakin' To me the top is vacant, mine for the taking. And thanks for tuning in, this is history in the making You can say that I ain't fire, use a liar I can show it proof, say that I ain't fire, use a liar It's a beautiful day, so beautiful, I'm talking about the sunny way, just like you baby, woohoo, yeah, just you and I. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe, you a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe, I'm a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe. How's the weather outside? 75, top down. I'm doing 25 on the highway. It's a vibe, we gon' ride all through the night We both got a slushy, sitting at the bottom of the cups Is the Henny, no fucking Fanny, that shit is kinda corny We gon' stop by the waterfront, enjoy the view Shit is cool, got your booty go side side In that sundress, even though your hair's kinda messy It's cute and sexy, at the same time If I had one wish, it's to make you mine Everything about you is what makes you fine If I was delusional, you'd still be one of a kind The world would never find another like you I just hope we could be, I could be with you I could be with you Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride It's a vibe, you a vibe, baby Let's ride Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe, I'm a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe. As the night comes to an end, I get in my feelings. I just say the fact I gotta let you go. But before we part ways, I just gotta get a taste from your face, down to your waist. I hope you don't mind. If I use my tongue in places where it pleases, then give you kisses. Girl, your vibe is a drug. Mine is an addiction. We meant for each other. There's nothing greater. You make me better when we're together. I want you in my sight. Morning or night, sunny or dark. You bring that spark that shines all the way to my heart. Girl, I just wanna be with you. I just wanna spend my time with you, yeah, baby, girl. Uh, I just wanna see the world through you. I just wanna spend my time with you. I just wanna see the world through you. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe, you a vibe, baby. Let's ride, 
Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe, I'm a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. I'm a vibe, you a vibe, baby. Let's ride, let's ride, let's ride. It's a vibe. When I know what your kitty and your mouth do But mm, you know that he don't go deep like me <laughs> you, mm, you know he don't lick it, lick it clean like me Tell myself if you leave I get more hoes Why I lie to myself, only Lord knows You gon' get that boy hurt, that's how love goes Love don't live here, home before close Don't be posting for these niggas as a poor pose Why you making faces out door door? So, uh, no, I'm on your body like a wardrobe You a trophy, they ain't giving that award show so, You think I get crazy, I feel bad for you I'm twice as crazy when I'm after you You think Kanye crazy, I feel bad for you, 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 you Cause I'm twice as crazy when I'm after you, hey uh, I want war, that's if you leave me, I want war I want war, that's if you leave me, I want war I want war, that's if you leave me, I want war I want war, that's if you leave me, I want war Man, I know that the truth be the last stop. When I heard it was true, nearly passed out. So I brought it to you and you dashed out. Thought you was a last tag from the way you lashed out. That's cool though. Hope you know when the low is blowing your face. Turn it up. Yup, yeah, cool though. Hope you know that we know that the bro. Radio you know. in the I've been waiting for your pros where you been day. Make a nigga do the most, go on Tim May. Past girls ass off, but they went way. Put your ass off more like the 10th grade. What are these call buttons? <laughs> no, no, I'm saying like if you have to call for speed, that's too much. Good, good evening, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Off the Top Sports Radio with your boy June Pierre. And be the analyst. Yes, yes, y'all, man. We are back on another Tuesday. Giving y'all that best sports show on internet radio today. Yes, yours truly, Off the Top Sports Radio on A Squad Rubber Radio. We want to thank everybody that's tuning in on YouTube, uh, Facebook, Twitch. Uh, X. <laughs> <laughs> I call it Twitter. It's Twitter. It's Twitter. <laughs> yeah, it's Twitter. Twitter. The artist Twitter. formerly known. No, exactly, Twitter. yeah. But uh, we want to thank everybody that's tuning in. Like, share, and subscribe. And like we always do, we have a jam-packed show for y'all today. But before we go to the rundown, right, B? Before we go to the rundown, mm -hmm. we got special guests in the building. We got special guests mm -hmm. in the building, man. Uh... I'm, I'm going to let the guests introduce themselves, man. <laughs> <laughs> it's your boy, uh, you go boy, Yahtzee. And yes, indeed, it's Jason Enrique, first class, second place, you go boy podcast in the building. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yo, BTV. Yo, BTV. Oh, boy. Oh, we got to do it. We got to do it. We got to do it, right? <laughs> yeah. One, two, three. Yo, Yo BTV Sports. Sports. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, welcome, guys. Uh, we had the opportunity to go and uh, be guests on their podcast last week. Uh, it was an amazing, uh, you know, turn event. Uh, it's a movie. Yeah, it was a movie. Yeah. Yeah. It's a movie, bro. TX so checks, checks we baby. Yeah. So, we, so we, do. we said, hey. Return the favor and come on down, yeah, and you yeah. know um, we doing the part two. So yeah, it's yeah. all about collaboration, not yes, competition. Yes, That's yes, what I yes, always yes. preach. Yes. Big facts, big yes, facts, yes, big facts, yes, big facts. Yes, big facts. Uh, for the 
off the top sports fans, man, let everybody know how your BTV Sports started and, um, you know, how it came about and um, all that good stuff, man. Yeah. Uh, you can't off that. All right, yeah. So um, to, to really cut, put a long story short, um, I actually wanted to do a sports show way back in the day, actually mm-hmm. before I met Hugo here. Yeah. And I actually had the idea. I brought it to Mar. Shout out to Mar from Braver Studios. Mm-hmm. Uh, I brought the idea, and I had a different co-host at the time. Mm-hmm. But very quickly, we realized that the dynamic was not going to work. So mm-hmm. we said goodbye to it. Needless to say, I just thought I just I just put it in the box, and it collected dust for a little bit. Mm-hmm. And then Marv had the brilliant idea of – basically bringing it back together because he loved the idea in the first place mm-hmm. and uh, Hugo and me are probably the, the biggest sports nuts at Bravery Studios facts, aside from uh, Aaron from uh, Way Outside After Work Podcast mm-hmm. and, uh, and and he just had the idea because uh, he's part of he's doing a network mm-hmm. called Bravely TV Network we got yeah. other podcasts as well and mm-hmm. we're included in that fold and we do the sports and we've been doing it ever since uh, uh, August like right before yeah. uh, NFL season right. and, uh, we've been, and but before that me and Hugo actually Actually respected one another very much. Yeah, like we yeah. were both in each other's podcasts, mm-hmm. and we had a great time. And we knew pretty quickly that you know this is going to be a good thing, and we just thought it was going to be a fun dynamic, especially coming from you know our our our, our fandom. You know, mm-hmm. especially mm-hmm. me. Unfortunately, I'm a Jets fan, and he's a Cowboys <laughs> fan. Very, very, very big on that. Mm-hmm. And, big you know, but, but we but we love the Yankees, and yeah. but but despite our fandom, mm-hmm. we we we're not delusional. Like we go across the board, we call it like it is, yeah, and so yeah, on and so yeah. forth. Yeah. So mm-hmm. it is what it is, and I'm just I'm having a lot of fun, man. With between my show and doing this, mm-hmm. uh, it's, it's been the most fun I've had doing uh, podcasts and radio all together. Dope, dope, dope. Yeah, man. Um, you know, like, a, like like Jay pretty much told most of the story. I mean, um, we were both doing solo shows, and right. you know, both our shows are thriving. You nice, know, at, nice. at, 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 on the bravely in the bravely world mm-hmm. and uh, bravery studios and um, bravery up, bravery yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> you know, shout out to Marv for Domo, shout out to Steve on the board, mm-hmm. shout out to the whole crew. Um, so uh, again, when when Marv Prodomo wanted to launch this network, you know, he, he came to us first and he was like, "Listen, you guys are you guys are the only people that here that watch sports for real, for real." Right. Like, <laughs> so <laughs> you know, what I mean, let, let's let's get it. So we started yeah. out with audio only for the first mm-hmm. five episodes because oh, okay. you know we had been on each other's. Shows, but you know, we still have to obviously learn to work together, and you know, learn how to play off of each yes. other. And um, it was it was fun. You know, we, we both re- quickly realized that we're both Jersey guys. We both always have something to complain about. <laughs> I mean, we're both fans of long suffering fans of two two football teams, as well as we're both Yankee fans, and we both complain about the same thing. So we have the same <laughs> like gripes, like minded, like minded. Right, right. So, and I think, and if if I may, I also want to point out real quick what what's really important in the mix is that I'm just that stereotypical sports. Radio fan, like I, I'm, I'm like a nerd when it comes to that stuff, mm-hmm. like WFAN and ESPN and all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. Meanwhile, Hugo actually has a background in media, not just sports media, but media in general. So mm-hmm. I think mixing that two, those two things together, yeah. is basically the formula of what you hear and see now mm-hmm. with uh, Yo BTV Sports. Yeah, yeah, I was always gonna do this. I was gonna, always gonna do some version right. of this. Mm-hmm. I graduated from Penn State with a, a degree in communications, uh, sports journalism. Again, you're a Buckeye yeah. fan. <laughs> Yo, you, before you yeah. came in, you see, we were some Potico with the Cowboys, <laughs> yeah, yeah. but then as soon as he said. Buckeyes, yeah. whole up, whole up. Well, don't, don't look, don't look at me. I, gr- I graduated from Chrysler University because all I did was listen to sports radio in the car all day. <laughs> yeah, but that is that aside, that aside, like I fell in love with like just sports radio, sports media. Mm-hmm. I knew I was gonna do some version of it. Um, uh, when I, you know, got out of school and so forth. Right. So, you know, uh, when I fell in love with podcasting, really during co- COVID, during COVID, COVID, COVID like my yeah. buddies from from Penn State, we all kept in contact. Most of them live in New York. They started a podcast called The Base, okay. and um, they were just like, yo, Ugo, we'd love to have you on. As, they had me on as a guest, mm-hmm. and then a couple months later, they was like, yo, we want you on as a host, right. or as a co-host. And then during COVID, everybody's home. Everybody's everybody inside. Home. Nobody outside. Nobody. Everybody inside. Yeah. We, we <laughs> shot like 100 episodes, something crazy like that. Mm-hmm. So by the time COVID ended, I was I was like, I gotta do my own solo joint, man. Yeah. It's about that time. So then I found Bravery Studios through my boy Ivory Johnson, his cousin uh, Dinash. She she uh, is the uh, host of or co-host of uh, Under Review, another uh-huh. another show in the Bravely World or whatever. Yeah. And um, had me on as a guest three times, and I was just like, this studio is amazing. Hooked up with Marv and the rest is history. So yeah, mm-hmm. well, yeah, we exciting. definitely happy to have you guys here, man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're um, happy to, have, to be on the show. Absolutely, absolutely. lovely, absolutely. lovely, yeah. lovely Nork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Corey Booker. <laughs> 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 oh man uh, As we put up the rundown For today's show uh, We got a lot to talk about man Like mm-hmm. I mentioned man We got UOB TV Sports In the building uh, We definitely gonna Have a lot of things To debate on man First we gonna talk some uh, 
you know, NBA playoffs. It's, it's, it's the playing game starts tonight. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So uh, yeah. yeah, two interesting matchups too. So uh, we'll get into that uh, <laughs> later on on the show. Then um, we're gonna talk man, NFL Drive next week. What? Next Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. Next yeah. Thursday. Yeah, man. man. It's, it it came you know, quick. Can quick. <laughs> and before you know it, yeah. the NFL season will be here. Yeah. Yeah. And just oh, as yeah. soon as it comes, mm -hmm. it's just going to leave like far in the wind. Yeah, yeah. yeah. right. Yeah. right. So right. we're going to talk a little bit NFL draft. Talk about, you know, team. I put NFL draft team needs. I respect this team. I ain't want to put respective on it, but I, I respect this <laughs> team needs. So we'll definitely talk to Dallas Cowboys. You go and be uh, draft a giant needs. op, yo. <laughs> Such a New York so, giant so op. Jets. <laughs> <laughs> As Jay Venture, yeah. he's a Jets fan. And of course, man, we're going to talk some um, yeah. Giants. I, I already man. see some hate in the yeah. check in with yeah. all my Jets fans. Oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, cool. that's, that's wild. Oh, my brother checked in, yeah. Brock Montana. <laughs> oh, my God, yo. Uh, like you mentioned, it's the terrible, comments are terrible. Uh, Listen, you, man, I was, born, I was born a Jets fan, so I always choose violence. So. <laughs> <laughs> he got no choice. Got no choice. <laughs> uh, man. And like, like the show is called Art the Top Sports. So we could right. be talking basketball in a few minutes mm -hmm. and talk football. Uh, baseball, all types of stuff, but um, yeah, man, that's the rundown for today's show. So we're gonna um, go with that, man, for today. Um, what are we gonna start off with, man? Uh, start off with the play-ins. Play-ins. Oh, let's yeah. go. Let's talk about it, man. Um, it starts tonight, man. Yeah. Uh, it, you know, you got the West. Uh, you got LeBron James and the Lakers are visiting the New Orleans Pelicans. Um, they just played on Sunday. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I'm sorry. I always have to laugh at the Pelican name. I'm just, no disrespect to anybody from NO, but right. come on. That's the best you can come up with? Yeah. It's, it's wild because you go to the city, it's nothing like Pelicans. I don't think you saw a Pelican. I was just down there for Mardi Gras. And yeah. I was like, well, you yeah. know what? People can say that there's no lakes in Los Angeles either. But. Yeah. <laughs> right. Hey, hey, hey. And uh, the second matchup, you you got the uh, Golden State Warriors going to Sacramento. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They yeah, played yeah, each other last year, right? Few years, yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like the old vets versus the the, the, the young guns. Mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Right, right. And you know, so far the the older vets have had a one up on the mm -hmm. younger guns. Yeah, so it should be an interesting matchup. I'm more interested in the matchup. I Me and June just had a theory um, when we was downstairs. Uh, you know, coming into the show, we like, you know, with all of the stuff that goes on in sports, with sports betting and everything else, right? <laughs> It almost kind of fit. I'm gonna pay attention tonight to this game because it feels like the Lakers might want to lose, <laughs> right? Because if they win, they get the seven seed. You got to play uh, Denver right away, right? You know what I mean, do you yep. want to have a first round? I don't think they can beat Denver. Denver swept them in nah. the season, season series. Yeah. Uh, that's pretty much eight straight wins because they bad swept match. them in the playoffs. It's a bad matchup for them. Bad matchup for them. So um, you know, don't be surprised if the Lakers look a little sluggish tonight because <laughs> uh, they look all worse. <laughs> They look all well the other day, but don't be surprised if they look a little sluggish no, tonight. Like, oh. No, I'm just saying, don't be surprised if they look a little sluggish tonight so they can drop, because you still got a chance, Man, even nice, if you nice. move to yeah. the 7-8, you get to play the winner of the 9 and 10. Right. So, um, and, you know, to get that final, that 8th and final seed, man, and I think that the Lakers would look at it as, look, we can be the older veteran team playing against the young guns that have no playoff experience, no experience whatsoever in OKC. In OKC. Mm -hmm. uh, it just looks like it's a better matchup for them, man, and, right. you know, like I said, the way sports betting and everything else is like just set up today, yeah. it almost feels has that type of feel. Now I'm gonna pay attention to it because I hope that's not the. <laughs> I hope, I hope Yo, we have no integrity uh, of the script, game. The script, <laughs> right? NBA script writers. If they have it in the, if they have it in the NFL, why can't they have it in the NBA? Exactly, man. I mean, you know, jokers be ducking jokers, man. I almost, yeah. you know, and we'll get to the East part in a yeah. minute. But I mean, that's I, mean, I mean, speaking of scripts, at this point, I feel like LeBron James should focus on two things right now: Bronny and Space Jam Three. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. Thanks. Yikes. They Yikes. don't. They don't want. They don't want Joker. They. They no, like no. the Lakers. That they have no answer for that man. No. They, they like Joker. Uh, Joker versus AD in a in a best two out of three. Let alone a best seven. <laughs> like right. bro, he's gonna give. How do you want it, bro? You 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 want the Hibachi? Right. You, you, want, you want Uber Eats? You want DoorDash? They have nobody that can match with Joker on that squad. Yeah, so no. so so they, they don't want that smoke. Nah, they don't want and that the thing also smoke. about about the Nuggets also is that. Uh, even though they won the championship, usually with teams, for the most part, they always have like a, a championship hangover, a Super yeah. Bowl hangover. And, uh, don't These like guys it. haven't lost a step. Mm -hmm. They feel like 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 business is still not finished. Right. It, it's that same mentality that Joker's had ever since uh, that they won the championship. He was like, okay, business as usual. Now we got to go to the next one. And that's the mentality. That's the culture that they built in Denver currently. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Right now. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, in the other matchup, 
uh, Sacramento. I, I don't even know how to call that one, man, to be honest. Um, I feel like Sacramento, it's time for them to get over the hump. Um, that game is it should be much more competitive because that loser is out, period. Yeah. Um, you don't get another a second chance. Yeah, ain't no coming uh, back. Yeah, ain't no one. coming back from that one. So that one is the real, uh, you know, NCAA format yeah, type of game yeah, where yeah, you know, win yeah, one and done. That's March Madness yeah, which is, over there. Which is pretty dope. Well, March Madness in April, um, <laughs> but you know, I mean, until I, like I said, with, with, with those types of games, mm-hmm. um, until somebody dethrones Golden State. I gotta, I gotta rock with Golden State. I'm gonna I mean, tell you why yeah. you gotta rock with Golden State. Tell me why. And I think they prefer to play this game. Mentioned, I mentioned earlier, this game is gonna be on the road. It's right, it's on the road. Wait, a tough place to play, yeah. though. Yeah, and, oh, yeah. I, and I also love Mike Brown. He's he's one of the best coaches. Yeah. and yeah. I, and I think that's the the with this particular matchup. I think that it's interesting to see because you got the Warriors, Steve Kerr's, and he's a good coach and everything yeah. like yeah. that. But Mike Brown is no scrub either. Mm-hmm. No, he, right, just no. Have, he just doesn't have the rings to back it up. Yeah. Right, but yeah. He, but he changed that culture in Sacramento. Definitely. Yeah. He did. Oh, yeah, Definitely he did. got some rings as, a, as an assistant. Uh, assistant, right. assistant but, but I, mean, I know what yeah, you mean. Yeah, like yeah. as as like uh, the I guy. Mean, I mean, Jason like Kerr has two Super Bowl wins as, as, as two rings as a Cowboy player. Or yeah, you mean so you mean about? the former OC of the Giants? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We, we, don't, we, don't, we don't know. We don't, we don't know that. Dude. Don't know. We don't know that. Dude. Yeah, with the gunshot. <laughs> <laughs> Strays. Can we deal with the we, shot. We in Newark, so I expect Strays. with the shot. Oh, but I was saying, but I was saying, go to State Pipe preferred to play this game on. Road because they they play best on the road uh, this year. They have mm. they have been horrible at home. Oh, this okay. Year. Uh, so and another thing on Sacramento too, Malik Monk is still, um, still uh, uh, out. Uh, yeah, with an injury, injury right? And okay. He was a big part of that team. Yeah. Coming off the bench, he was averaging 17 points a game yeah. for that team, and they missing that right now uh, okay. in Sacramento. So. I, I think you gotta go with go to state. Um, yeah, okay. and, yeah. And they, I mean, they, they, that's, that's they, house they money the, right they there. They have mm-hmm. the pedigree, you yeah. know. They, you know, and Steph always, you know, turns into somebody different. Mm-hmm. You know, whether you know play in playoff time. Um, the so last you know, time he yeah, was yeah, in yeah, that yeah. building for a playoff game, he yeah. dropped fifty. Right. And do you, and do you right. feel like Steph Curry? <laughs> yeah. He's gonna have a chip on his shoulder because he already hears the outside noise. Oh, that they course. feel like Golden State has lost a step. They're what not the he, same team as they used he's to be. Been that for they about need three to be, years. They now, need to bring back Kevin Durant, the whole nine, everything. But Steph reminds me of that that kind of player that he's gonna think about that. He's gonna have it in the back of his mind, and he's gonna put play like that. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So what's the over under? When do y'all think Draymond gets thrown out the game? <laughs> we talking, we talking, we talking first half. Yeah, nah, not we talking time fourth time quarter. Time He's time definitely getting the tech. I think, like, I think it's, it's, just a, it's, just a, it's just a matter of well, when it's, it's going to happen. It's a good, it's a good tech, thing, maybe, but not, I don't think he's going to get But it's a good thing that Jordan Poole's not on the team anymore. So, <laughs> yeah. oh, man. Otherwise, though, the, you bet these ass. Give up the even. Yeah, that's the nasty word. I don't like that. I like that. Uh, the other playing game tomorrow night, you have the East uh, Eastern uh, Conference. Yeah. Where you have Philadelphia uh, taking on Miami. Uh, that's an interesting match. Now, that meant, yeah, that's interesting, interesting for me because yeah. I'm a Knicks fan. So I talk you, about it. Yeah. <laughs> you want Philly? Uh, you don't I, no, want I, Miami? I do want Philly. I want Philly. Well, here's the thing. It, it, it's tricky. Trick, it's tricky for me because there's a part of me that wants. The Miami Heat because I've, I've hated them. That's the yeah. team that I hate more than anybody else <laughs> in, the, in the NBA, and I just want to put a smacking on them. Mm. But I've seen this movie plenty of times already. Yeah. I've seen yeah, it's, like, it's, too it's like it's like Scorsese, it's like Scorsese and Tarantino directed this movie. I already know how it ends. Yeah. Right. So right. I, I just right. I just feel like we're just gonna have a better opportunity now. I will say like. The the biggest factor, especially this time around, yeah. is uh, uh, OG and, and 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 the other guys that they that they acquired in the offseason. Season, yeah. These yeah. are guys that we didn't have last year, yeah. and yeah. even with Randall out for the rest of the year, mm-hmm. I think we still got a good shot. Good and shot, I believe yeah. and I believe in Thibodeau. Yeah, yeah, that's why I say I prefer Philly. Let MB get his and shut everybody <laughs> else down. You know, right. I'm actually gonna be a tough out to shut out, shut down, but shut everybody else down. That's why I prefer. But Miami just match up better. Uh, but match up well against us. Yeah. And then you yeah. talking about and Spoke. Yeah. Spoke. Yeah. Spoke. Yeah. Spoke. Yeah. He knows the best in the game. He knows how to win these games. Yeah, he knows how to win these games. And I got to give a lot of credit to Spolster because I, I I hated on him for the longest time. Not just because he's the heat coach, but I just felt like he was just a puppet uh, to Pat Riley. Pat, 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 right. But and, you know what? He proved you wrong, right? Yeah. He proved it. You got to give credit where credit is due. So, you know, you know, shout out to Eric Spolster. Absolutely. Then in their 9 and 10 matchup in the playing game, you got B. Chicago yeah, Bulls, Bulls uh, <laughs> against Atlanta. Uh, That's my brother's team too. Yeah. As a I mean, listen. Well, listen. <laughs> Your the, mother lives in the nineties. It's the Bulls. We, we, the we, 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 both, we, 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 we both do. We're both <laughs> firmly in the nineties. That's, golden era, but That's look, where that's where our teams are winning chips. That's man. true. That's true. Yeah. That's why you still have a lot of Niner fans too. Yeah, yeah. Atlanta. Facts. 
uh, is three and zero in playing in the playing tournament. Ice so. tray. Ice tray. Yeah, Jason, something happens Jason, with Jason them. loves ice tray. And there was times where I felt like they were going to lose and they still Jason won. Violence, I just don't know what type of matchup. I don't know what type of, you know, when you start talking about anything playoff related, I just don't trust DeRozan. I'm not sure. Um, mm. But I have to, you know, I have to see. I mean, the Bulls will be home. They do have a nice young nucleus. But uh, I just, I, I don't know about that matchup. I mean, and, and Atlanta's been playing terrible ball, man, to yeah. be honest. Oh, yeah. Um, yeah they've been you know, really but like I said, it's just that one game. Right. So, you know, you win that one game and then everything else, you know, you think about it after you win. Uh, mm-hmm. You know, if the, for the Bulls, I think they should be able to win this game and, and play whoever loses out of uh, – well, I think it'll be Philly though mm. that they that they're gonna be playing. I got Miami, man. Miami just know how to win these. Types I'm never of games, gonna bet man. against Spolstra. Not, not, I'm just not, I'm just not, not in the playoffs, man. Nah. The last few years, I mean, they haven't really been that you know high seeds ever since you know even to, when we talk about when they made it to the finals. Um, I just don't see them like no matter what their seed is, they just. Is a, they're a tough out? Yeah, yeah. Tough out. And, and, Jim, and Jimmy Butler, yeah, and too. mind you, playoff yeah. Jimmy's being playoff activated Jimmy's, currently. Yeah, yeah. And mind you, <laughs> so, and mind you t- Tyler Hero was out last year with injury. He's right, he's, he's healthy, healthy this now. Year. Right, yeah. So. so that's another dynamic that right. you got to account for. Mm-hmm. But it should be great, man. This uh, I like this. Um, you know, and it's funny how all the contradictions because everybody hated the play in when it first started. And now everybody it's saving kinda, jokers it's out saving here. Saving jokers <laughs> out here. <laughs> right. Uh, right. It, it's definitely saving. It's, it's, saving. All, it's, it's all about saving. the almighty dollar. I mean, that's Absolutely. why. That's but why they, we. That's why we have uh, yeah. eighteen games in the NFL then instead of oh, sixteen. Yeah, so right. we're trying to add another one. <laughs> 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 they just go every three or five years. They're gonna just add another game. They've been competitive games. Yeah. So it's yeah, like yeah. you can't complain about it. I mean, it's good basketball and it revs up the 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 competition aspect of it. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I, I wasn't a fan of it either because I'm like, yo, man, y'all rewarding 10 seeds, but when the 10 <laughs> seed come out and play better, and right. win, it's like, all right, I understand what's it's going April on. Madness. Right, it's April, April Madness. It's April Madness, man. man. You know I, I like it. I like it. So, I like it. It's cool, man. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Uh, so you do have some playoff matches that's set. Let's start with the Eastern Conference. While we on the Eastern Conference, you got yeah. the Milwaukee Bucks will be taking on uh, the, the and, Indiana Pacers, which that is a low-key rivalry. They have some rivalry. bad blood. Yeah, yeah. low-key <laughs> rivalry right there. Remember, the Pacers eliminated the uh, Milwaukee Bucks in the um, end season tournament um, mm-hmm. in the semifinal final the end season tournament then a couple of weeks later they got into it because uh, one of the players took the um, Giannis I think Giannis went Giannis, crazy that yeah, night yeah, yeah, yeah like 64 or something like that, that <laughs> yeah he took the ball <laughs> he took the ball yeah. he was tussling you see Giannis storming to the locker room right. to go get the ball so it's a little bad blood between them and then we get the news today that Giannis might, might not be, not be available, available in this for, yeah, for the series so, right, and, yeah, the, he, and I think this start, happened yeah. last year too right in the Miami series yeah, yeah, he missed some time. Oh, he missed some time. Yeah. So, uh, I don't know. Doc is in the Yo, listen, y'all, y'all, y'all know, y'all know <laughs> how I feel about Doc. I'll, I'll let you no, say. I he is, is you say. Doc. Me. I said. I said it before. Say last yes, he's the yeah. Jason Garrett. He's the Jason Garrett of the NBA. <laughs> I wouldn't this even dude, call him that. This dude fails up. It's right. crazy how he fails up. Like, oh my God, Sixers, we got to get this guy. Oh yeah. my God, Bucks, we got to get this guy. I'm just like, he won a chip Clippers. with the with the, with the Clippers. We got to get this guy. Right. I forgot about that one. <laughs> what has he done to keep getting these bags? Tell me. Like, yeah, he 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 got a chip with the Celtics back in 1945 with Bill Russell. Congratulations, bro. <laughs> Congratulations, man. I was back in. I'm not even in my 20s anymore. That's Bro, what it was. Kevin so Garnett, man. Ray Allen, like Paul Pierce. I get it. Really? Rajon yeah, Rondo. Rajon Rondo. Yeah. Like, like, bro, like you he was supposed was, to win. You was, <laughs> yeah. you was, that was a super team. You was that supposed was, to win. That was a script right there. Yeah. That was script. Facts. <laughs> Facts. Facts. So it's just like, yo, why does this dude keep? Why does he keep getting bags? Like, yeah. tell me, like, why does like he's heralded as like one of these great coaches of all time? All uh, he he does not win chips at all the spots we mentioned. No chips. No nah, chips, nah. just the Boston one. Meanwhile, Mark Jackson still can't get a job. And Mark Jackson, Crazy. no, he's been blackballed. They blackballed yeah. him. They blackballed Patrick Ewan. They blackballed Kareem. Kareem can't, couldn't even get a job right, or right, front right, office right, job. Right, like, right. yo, they, they they choose who they want. But my thing is, what what has Doc Rivers done to continue to get these opportunities? Because I just I don't see it. I, don't see it. I, w- I wish I wish we had that. Tell him what, tell me when I'm telling the last. Yeah, uh, right. yeah. Right. Y'all need jobs. Right. Y'all, y'all, next time yeah, I'm gonna bring jobs. Right. Right. I'm bring the soundboard. Tell me when I'm telling lies. I'm bring the soundboard. This is, this, this is crazy, man. It's yeah, crazy. Yeah, 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 this is yeah. just a little bit of taste of what you get when you'll be too much. Thanks. Y'all saw it in the video. We got to take some of that. 4K. 4K. <laughs> uh, 
the, the other matchup is Cleveland uh, Cavaliers against the Orlando Magic. So uh, upcoming yeah. Orlando Magic's man. Uh, yeah. Uh, Paulo and uh, Fence Wagner, man. Those I love Paulo, man. Yeah. 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 Duke guy right there. <laughs> yeah. See, he's, a, he's a bucket. Yeah. He's, he's been a bucket since he freaking came to this country. Yeah. <laughs> is, Sp- is Spider playing? Is he, is he hurt? Right um, I think he's playing. Okay. He's, he's I, playing. Think, I think yeah, so. He's, he's I, think so. Yeah. I don't think nothing wrong with him. Um, that's going to be interesting on a series. Then you move on to the Western Conference where you have uh, the Timberwolves and Tim- the Phoenix Suns. That's going to be a spicy it's, series. It's going to be a spicy series, but guess what? You know, Phoenix has had their number this year. Yeah. Uh, for whatever reason, I, I, and I don't know how that gets better in a seven-game series. Mm-hmm. Um, when you talk about you know uh, veterans like Booker and KD who have been there and been through the wars before as far as it pertains to the playoffs, mm-hmm. uh, Bradley Bill is fairly new to the playoff yeah. situation. Yeah. But you know when you talk about the Timberwolves, they're a pretty young team, period, man. Yeah. And um, now you don't have Cat this time around. Nope. Yeah. Uh, so you know we're going to see. It was a, it was back. A, Cat back. He's back. Oh, he's, Wait, back? he's back? He's back. He played Sunday. He played Sunday. Okay. Oh, okay. He came back last week. He back. Okay. Cat, he's back. Was he? Was he on? I don't give a damn. Was breaking news. Was he on? Was he on a, a, was he on a, was he on a minute restriction? Uh, was he on? A, was he on a minute restriction? Nah, he's or? all in. I, I watched that game on Sunday, so he's he's in. Okay. Well, I, I, you don't tell. He's like, like, like it doesn't matter. At one point, yeah. it was down twenty five. Yeah, so, you sure I about mean, that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So I mean, you know, but it's like I said, it's different in a seven game series. But this is where it comes down to, you know, uh, that the sideline coaching and everything else is plays a part. It's the chess match yeah. um, when you start talking about the playoffs, different defensive matchups and stuff like that. So mm-hmm. uh, Phoenix will have to go on the road to start it off. Um, and I think they are doing their best rendition of staying away from, you know, teams like. Uh, Den- well, they would have to see Denver's second round if the, if, if that was to happen. Yeah. So yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. can't can't escape yeah, can't, can't escape can't, the big yeah. beast. Yeah. <laughs> Joker is just looming, bro. I don't yeah. like. Can you name a team in the West that 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 could that, that could that could that could do anything with this man? I mean, well, him individually, you, nobody <laughs> could do anything with him. <laughs> but I mean, you you just never know. It's just so. This is the first time where like the star power is kind of like spread. Yeah, uh, no, especially that's true, when you're talking about the Western Conference, yeah. man. Ooh. From the Clippers oh, yeah. to Dallas to you know the T Wolves. Uh, yeah, they By the they, way, they shout out to Blake Griffin who retired today too. Oh yeah, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. Yeah, he retired I officially. I, yep. I mean, he, I haven't seen him in the game. Man's been retired for the past three, four years. years. <laughs> <laughs> I, was, I, was about, I was about to say, like, is, it, is this like Vince Carter? He's still yeah. in the league. Right. <laughs> he was with Brooklyn for a minute. Was he? Yeah, he was with Brooklyn. I mean, he was still actually getting a little couple minutes then. Yeah, he was with Harden and Durant and Kyrie and all that. I don't even. He helped him win a game in that Boston series. I want to say he did. Yeah, he did. Point Last shot. time I saw him was in ago. Brooklyn. Yeah, him and Mateen Cleaves. I saw the two of them like together. Or whatever. He's just gonna be known <laughs> as. He's just gonna be known as a dunker, though, right? Like, I, was, I mean, no, I really he was trying to. He had that. a good career, man. Those early, those early uh, Clippers days. You know, he was the he guy. Was a he was a highlight. He was a highlight. Who messed them? Who messed them years up for him? Who was his head coach? Doc. Doc Garrett. Doc Garrett. Doc Garrett. Doc Garrett. Doc Garrett. <laughs> Doc Garrett. Out of here, he bro. He just couldn't get it done. Mans is not a winner, bro. He just he couldn't get not. it done. He, he had no team. <laughs> yeah, exactly. He had no team. He just Jason Rivers. Jason Rivers. <laughs> Damn, y'all, y'all killing him. Doc He's, Ward, Doc Lust. Y'all haven't, exactly, y'all haven't disagreed with I his yet. I just call him so. Patient Rivers. <laughs> I said, can we hey, yo, chat. Hey, yo, chat. <laughs> Give us some, we need some answers, chat. <laughs> <laughs> Why does Doc Rivers still get off into the I said that just went through that experience. He from Philly, my man. Ignorant think of pocket. He's from Philly, so he just went through that experience. Oh, man. he's he's, 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 he's in therapy because <laughs> of Doctor Doctor Gary. I just saw Philly and Ignorant in the same sentence, so. Mm. Yeah. Right. Oh. Ooh. Ooh. Shot. 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 Uh, quite some, for quite some time. <laughs> Doc, 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 Doc Calipari. Doc Calipari. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Yo, my man shows violence. Oh, I'm man. here for it, man. <laughs> 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 that's 
That's my man. Don't tell me he's an Eagle fan, too. He is. He is an Eagle fan. I love him, bro. Unfortunately. Love bro. We ain't got no energy for you today, bro. I don't. Never. Oh, man. So, yeah, that's an interesting matchup, man. Dallas and Yeah, Luca lights up, man, when he see those Man, Luca. For whatever reason. Now he got he got help this time. You got you got Ramadan Ka. That's what I've been calling him. <laughs> Listen, man. To be yeah. able to play the basketball yeah. the way he's been playing um, during the Holy Month, uh, you know, and, and just continuing that good play, it's you know, it's been outstanding, man. Uh, Not to cut you off, right? ahead, uh-huh. um, they just announced the USA, uh, and they talking about the final spot. Oh yeah, yeah. they got one more spot left. And, sure and I look at that. I look at that team. They could use another point guard. Well, it's Kai ain't no point. Kai gonna go get a bucket. Yeah, he gonna get a bucket. Yeah. But did so Jalen Brunson join it? Like, is he part of USA? Nah, and I feel like it. Why he's not on there? Because what happened this past uh, summer with the FIBA team? Right, uh, right. Kerr, I don't know what Kerr was gonna do with that squad. He had Jalen Brunson on the bench when it was crunch time. Oh Then no. give Jalen Brunson a, a, a lot of minutes. That's why you see Anthony Edwards and Tyrese Halliburton up oh. there uh, on those spots because those were the guys that was killing this past summer in the FIBA tournament. Mm-hmm. So, uh, but uh, he, uh, he didn't really give J- uh, JB no time, man. So uh, he keeps sleeping on JB, man. Keep sleeping. Uh, Cause it's only adding more fuel to the fire. Is Kurt still a coach? Uh, is Kurt a coach of a, a team? Yours? No, who's, who's no, I think he he's not. Or somebody coaching. else. I seen they were all pictured. Um, mm-hmm. I just can't remember who it was that I saw that was coaching. Yeah, uh, need to bring is back it Minnesota sh- coach? Nah, it's not. Minnesota they need to bring back Kuchu Who's OKC's coach? <laughs> I, I don't even know his his name. He got a long. You got. A uh, I think name. I don't. I can't remember, man. We'll have to get back to you on yeah, that. Yeah, 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 yeah. God yeah. did see them picture, but they, yeah, Steve they Steve Kerr. It's Steve Kerr. It's Steve Kerr. It's Steve Kerr. Yeah. Well, yeah, whatever. Yeah, yeah. But I feel like Kyle, <laughs> Kyle, 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 Kyle. I mean, do anybody fucking need to coach them? Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? They, that, the that the way they asso- assembled this team together is pretty, pretty, pretty solid. Yeah, solid. Uh, they should definitely go out and win the gold again. Should not um, struggle with no team. It shouldn't struggle. And if you add a, somebody like a Kyrie, because they were saying who you should add. Um, when I think about it, I think Kyrie is the most deserving. Uh, I know people were saying Kawhi, but I'm like, Kawhi be injured. Mm-hmm. And you man, know, don't yeah, play, he don't want to play past you know the <laughs> season. Yeah, um, so I, I just think that uh, I I just think that yeah, Kyrie uh, would be best at that spot. Um, that's just a, a another dynamic, another bucket getter. Ain't nothing you really could do. And he know how to get his teammates involved and stuff like that. It's like it's not like he's a jock. Um, that's somebody that could play off the ball. He could play ball dominant. It, d- it don't matter. Um, that versatility, I think, is would, would be would so be Kawhi great. has a spot according to Sam Sports. Like, oh, you said Kawhi got, got the spot. Okay. So, Kawhi I got mean, this, I might. I guess it might be breaking news. news right, cause might they, be breaking news because I ain't. I, I didn't see that. Nah. But I mean, if he do, all right, so be it. It's whatever. I mean, just come in healthy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, like I don't. <laughs> you know, uh, just play. I want I want you to be able to play. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So uh, we'll see, man. We'll see. But like we mentioned, man, the playoffs is here, man. It's the best time of the year uh, to watch basketball. You know, a lot of people don't watch the regular season. Mm-hmm. I watch the regular season. I'm a basketball fan. But uh, but this is the best time. This way you're going to see some competitive yeah. well, basketball. For, yeah. Well, for me, like I said, I'm a Knicks fan. So mm-hmm. I haven't really had a, ch- uh, a, a need Ooh. to watch regular season. Ooh. But yeah. this has been the most exciting season I've had as a fan since the early 90s. Yeah, well, I'm working. Or, or maybe, or, or maybe twenty uh, two thousand thirteen with that mellow team. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Working their way up to that number two spot. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. It's definitely says a lot uh, of that team, especially with the injuries that they was dealing with this yeah. year with Mitchell Robinson, uh, Randall, and OG and Anobi out yep. the, in and out the lineup, man, and just to be right there. And then Bogdanovich hasn't been playing to like, the back yeah. of his basketball yeah. court either. Coaching, man. Coaching. Yeah. Thibodeau, yeah. man, is a he's a good coach, man. Yeah. No, he's a great coach. My bad. Yeah, and I'm so glad, that even though. I might be a detriment to sometimes, but I'm one of the. I'm, I'm glad that he's not one of those coaches that believe in load management. Yeah, oh, he's no. not. But at the same time, that's that was the thing that. But that's Knicks why I said it. That's why I said about with him because he plays his damn starters too damn long. But that's why I said it could be a detriment. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but he is. He's a good coach, X and O's wise. Yeah. And knows how to get you into your sets and stuff like that. I'm just talking about as far as the time management of starters. You got you know, and I saw it when he was in Chicago. I mean, Chicago would be up forty. He still got D Rose in the game going 100 <laughs> miles an hour. And I'm like, what are you doing? Um, even Yo, that, man, even that playoff game. That's why he tore his ACL. 
been in the plan. Yeah, I'm like, yo, y'all whooping yeah. Philly's ass. When Randall got hurt in January, we was up like 15, 20 with like a couple of minutes left in the game. And yeah. And game. who was it against? It, it was against Miami. Yeah. And we entered the shoulder. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Like, like you know why Randall oh was in the game? It's like, yo, you will run your oh pit, jo- God, run yeah, jokers bro. into oh, the ground. It is. Man. Like, yeah. it, 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 Every it, it, time I think about it, I just want to go Tony Montana on all the fans. Crazy. Yeah, man. So we'll see. Should we'll be good see. though. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm yeah. looking forward to this one. Like, mm-hmm. yeah, you're absolutely right. Because this is this one. I'm really in the uh, in it deep in basketball. Like, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm all in. Not just with my team, but I'm really engaged in all the everything else that's going it's on. Especially yeah. with with there's teams that are in it that are not usually in the conversation. Yeah, mm-hmm. like yeah. the Orlando Magic and right. the Sacramento yeah. Kings. Yeah, yeah. It's good to see new. Yeah, yeah. 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 yeah like Shout out to cool. them, man. I, I I was sleeping on the Orlando Magic, but when I did my t- uh, NBA season preview, he was like, "Watch out for the Magic." Man, I was sleeping been an OKC and they came out the West number yeah, one. Yeah, number man. one. But it's Sam Presti. He know yeah. how to put talent together. Oh, We've yeah, seen for this sure. movie before. When he did it with Russell Westbrook, KD, Abaka, Reggie Jackson, James Harden. We could, he put talent. He know how to put talent together, man. Yeah, he right. used mm-hmm. them draft picks. He draft well. And that's dra- the draft results, and the Draft man. and develop, man. Yep, yep, Team yep. building. Mm-hmm, Team building. Mm-hmm, so, mm-hmm. Yeah. so we'll see, man. We'll see, man. Uh, as we move along, man, the NFL draft is next week. Ooh. Rub hands like bird, man. Yes. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is the New York Jets Super Bowl over here. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> man, and uh, you know, a couple of days away, man, and yep. uh, we just want to look at respective teams, our respective teams, what mm-hmm. our draft needs, and I, you know, I searched a couple of websites, and uh, as y'all can see, picture on the screen right now, Okay, um, yes, sir. you know, the draft needs of each team, do y'all, first of all, do y'all agree with the draft needs, for, starting with the Cowboys, Fuck fans, no. you know what I'm saying? <laughs> for us, we need like five more spots. No, I mean, <laughs> no, 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 no. You also, you also need a draft. Draft a head coach, apparently. <laughs> no, I, no, I, no, I have I'm, a problem. With I'm Mike, not out man. on McCarthy yet. I'll, I'll, oh, I'll but, have a problem with uh, Mike. not yet. I not thought yet. You, all right, I guess, I guess you had to change your heart because you were. I out. did. You were, no, you I, were, I, I, I have a problem with Mike. I, I don't. I said it last week. I said, you know, the he became this uh, guy that can't coach once he started coaching the star. Um, you know, everybody had the most respect for him when he was in Green Bay. And, right. You know, that's just something that comes with the territory of, you know, coaching, playing, whatever for the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah. I just have revision. I don't have no I just have issue revision with history because I remember this dude. Right? Oh. This no, it's facts. Okay. It's facts. It's facts. He got emotional. He won. Yeah, he got emotional. You can't Hulk. get emotional. You went full Hulk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You can't get emotional. No, I, I went you CM Punk. I went CM Punk. That's why I went. Right. <laughs> um, but as far as offensive tackle, yes, I do believe yes. that they do need those t- offensive those first, those first two are accurate. Those first uh, two are accurate. We definitely I mean, need a don't center. We don't have order. a center. Um, you don't have a center, but you also it, – is the, the way the offensive line market has been set, it up, set up or the draftees, a lot of these guys are versatile. A lot of these guys can play guard, center, tackle, mm-hmm. um, which has been boosting their draft status up. True. You got the kid from Duke. Um, and yeah, a couple Barton, other, Grant Barton. Yeah, yeah there's a couple yeah. other guys that I watch a lot of play shows. inside and outside. Yeah, so – uh, as far as offensive tackle, you're gonna need somebody on that left side. 100%. As long as they're athletic enough to, you know, be on that left side, it might side, be Tyler I'm, Smith. I'm, I'm, yeah. It might be Tyler. And the center thing, um, I don't know. I mean, yeah, you do need a center. Um, I like, you know, I like the kid from Oregon too. Yeah, Jackson but, Powers is my choice. But if they yeah, don't actually sure. go and get a tackle in the first round, I ain't gonna be too mad at it. It's it's a couple guys that I've been looking at that's like are good day two guys too. Well, I was like, all right, if they grab him, he'd be all right. Running back, ah, that's the that's the splash. Um, I'm really uh, looking at linebacker. Linebacker. Linebacker should be up there. DTs. Like yeah. You know, I'm trying to beat DT up the defense, up there. man. Oh, uh, yeah. You know, because defense wins championships at the end of the day. And, and, and you know, uh, contrary to what, you know, everybody else wants to believe, man, the Dallas defense outside of that one game last year in San Fran have not shown up. In the in the playoffs, in the uh, just games, as yeah. much as anybody else has, you know, yeah. on that team, yeah. um, you know, I could go back to what was that, 2019 or 2018 when they gave up 295 I told yards. You, CJ, about CJ, CJ he's still running. CJ Anderson. He's still running. CJ yeah, Anderson. It wasn't still even Ty Gurley. It Bro, was CJ. His Anderson. fat behind is still running. I mean, and Aaron Jones is still running in Dallas. <laughs> he's still, they, the boys is still running like Forrest Gump. Listen, God, so, Lee, bro. I mean, you know, and, and, and you, you got to be able to stop the run. That's has been. As good as the defense has been, 
that has been the Achilles heel. Uh, they haven't, you know, you got safeties playing linebacker. Um, I almost feel like Dan Quinn sabotaged the whole I, damn thing last year. You know, you know what's and crazy? I don't want to think that about my jersey. You know what's crazy? Right? So, jersey. So, Shout out Morristown. Yo, LaDainian right. Tomlinson was on the pivot, and he was like, he yo. Talked about he talked about something that happened with he's, Nolan Turner. Yeah, he said that, yo, he threw the game because he had a coaching, coaching job, job waiting for him. I'm beginning to think Dan Quinn was like, not, yo. I got this Washington job. <laughs> we listen, we I'm on, out. We on to something yeah. because look. But you got Zimmer though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, 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 I like Zimmer. We I talked like Zimmer. about oh, this. <laughs> yeah, June, June and myself talked about this before. How we we really feel like the interviewing process and everything should start when everything is done. Yeah. Um, mm. Once you start going into how 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 are you accurately or you know preparing your team. For, to go into battle in the playoff game when, you know, Joker, you just had an interview with another team and they're right. like, yeah, we're going to hire you. Right, mm -hmm. right. you like, all right, I'm ready to go now. Like, yeah. you know yeah. what I mean? I just feel like it's a distraction. Uh, and I think that they should change that policy as to where guys, you know, you have to wait until after the Super Bowl yeah. to yeah. start the, the interview process and stuff like that no, for coaches, right. man. Right. They just, you know. But, I mean, I, yeah, I agree with most of that. Um, but I, I want to beat the defense up, man. I, I do. do. You, you, I do. you win in the trenches. You, you do, win man. in the line of scrimmage. And that's exactly. Both, that's on both sides, right, honestly. Right, so right. I think offensive line speaking, again, the center is the quarterback of the offensive line. Absolutely. It's mm -hmm. very, very underappreciated position right. for whatever reason. Right. Because I get it. Left tackle, blind right. side, it's, it's a passing league. I agree. It's, it's, it's quarterback oriented. Right. But again, you need that center who's setting protections. Right. Like th there's a big reason why Jalen Hurts had put has had the type of career he's had, except Absolutely. for last year where he led right. the league turnovers. Absolutely. You know what I mean? Because they he had a Hall of Famer at center. Yeah. yeah. And I Romo, mean. toward the end of his career, Travis Frederick, who was going to be a Hall of Famer before he got sick. Right. You know what I mean? They beefed up the center, a first-round center. So it's like those right. two are absolutely my number two, uh, one and two knees, but I'm with you too. Linebacker and the defensive tackle, right. which goes back to the trenches, that's how you win championships. Yeah. That's, how, that's how Kansas City has been dominant during this run because mm -hmm. they completely revamped their offensive line right. when they lost to the Bucks in Tampa. It's, it, that's, and that's the thing. You... you, you uh, that's what you're supposed to do. Yes. When you see something's wrong, yeah. you fix what's wrong. Aggressively. Yeah. Aggressively. Aggressively. Uh, Kansas City went to that Super Bowl. They looked and they said, our quarterback is running for his life. He is, is running, for, running his life. for his life. <laughs> and we need to protect him. And what they're doing that offseason, they went and spent some money. They yeah. went and did some drafting with Cree Humphrey. Mm -hmm. And boom, here you go. They drafted back. like three dudes yeah. that year. You know yeah. what I mean? Yeah. So no, they got to protect the investment. I, man. I, I fully expect <laughs> Dallas to. I look. I look at look at the thirty visits. I don't know how how the Jets do it. I don't know how the Giants the do it. The thirty visits. The thirty visits lot. tell the story for tell us. The, okay. It tells the story for a lot of teams. Yeah, for the most part. Those are the final interviews. Oh yeah, yeah. Because every 30 like we typically draft about four out of our seven picks are 30 visits right so and mm -hmm. and, and i looked at our 30 visits uh, a couple weeks ago when they were finalized or whatever because mm -hmm. they don't reveal all of them they, they, can't give, they, all they can't give all the sauce no. but most of them were offensive, offensive linemen, linemen yeah. running backs and linebackers, and linebackers. Okay. so best believe <laughs> they th th those, those are the first three the first picks three right there yeah. Okay. Yeah. so so i'm and i'm all for it because you know we had freaking j ron curse and marquise bell we had safeties no, and linebackers right. man right. like we we it was down bad and I, and I like i like i like i like bell oh and they're putting him back where he deserves Back to safety. He's going back to I like safety. Er, I like, God, I like, I like Eric Kendricks. He's a he's a he's a um, veteran. Yeah, man, veteran. He's yeah, a Zimmer he job. Knows, so, yeah. And he knows Zimmer's system. So yeah. you know yeah, that, yeah. that should definitely so, help. With so the, yeah, so I'm I'm with this list, so but add linebacker and defensive at tackle. At the twenty four pick, which player if they fall in like like which player you if, want the team? If Oregon's to pick center is there, Jackson, uh, Jackson Powers. Jackson, Jackson Powers, Powers is if my he's pick. there, I want him. He's been my pick for the last two months, really. If he's there, I want him. If he's not there, uh, I definitely would go. Probably, I would go OT. I, I would go one of the uh, a tackle. And there's um, like seven of them. And it's like a few. It's this a few of really them. deep. Yeah. We yeah. talk about yeah. it on our show all the time. This mm -hmm. is a it's really a deep of offensive mm -hmm. line class. Yes. Really, Jets and Cowboys should be hunting a, 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 a tackle in round one. one. If, if mm -hmm. the, and, every, and again, every team looks at the tackles. It's like a flavor of ice cream. They rank them differently. Yeah. But of if, if your but if your guy is there, forget the trade back. Take him. Yeah. Just just yeah, take him. Yeah. You know yeah. what I mean? So so yeah, mm -hmm. offensive line. I'm gonna Jackson Powers has been my pick all for like two months. With your permission. Mm -hmm. Can we implement the segment a segment that we do on our show called "Keep That Same Energy"? <laughs> 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 Let's do it because do it. because because this is this is Hugo's forte right here. So I actually read somewhere I don't know exactly where, but I did see this that the Dallas Cowboys should actually draft Michael Penix. 
Oh my God, uh, we talk. Oh my goodness, so, gracious, so yeah. Bro. So without no further ado, you go. Please keep that same energy. This episode of keep, of keep that same energy is brought to you by right, right. off the sport, off the top sports radio, as well as Newark, New Jersey. No, God, please, no, no. Listen, man. No, I like Michael Penix. Uh, no, 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 that's a second rounder. Let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me, let me I, I don't like. Let me explain. You don't need him at Trey Lance right there, and that's why. But you know why absolutely no sense. But you know why they're saying that, right? Because it goes, it goes in line with everybody's already saying Dak Prescott, he's not it, he's not the guy, he should have got it done already now. So that's why people are throwing that bait out in the water in order for everybody to come and eat it up. Like, well, you even after Hugo gave the eulogy last week, I, I, went, I went in. <laughs> yeah. I think all of that should be put away. I went know? in, bro. He went in. Hey, Bo, listen, Bo Nix at 24 I don't have a dog in the fight. I'm just telling you what I heard. No, I get it. What? I'm putting my ear to the street. But see, there's this, fa- <laughs> there's this fallacy out there that, th- that people believe that there's all of these young quarterbacks that they put into the elite conversation are out there just killing it and just winning. Generational quarterbacks, <laughs> right? Generational. Right. I already said it. What I said? Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yes. I like you like that. I like you like that. I like you like that. But the thing is, they, they, they. But the only, like you said, it's only been Patrick Mahomes, Tom Brady. Nick Foles, Nick Foles and Matt and Stafford. And Matt Stafford. Exactly. Why are we acting? Why are we acting like these other guys are out here just killing it and just hoisting up Lombardi's six, left and right? Six of the eight Super Bowls that have been won during have been that, won by, by four by, guys. Exactly, exactly, four guys. No, so, but what I'm saying is six of them have been run by two of them. By, six by two of the eight, right? Two of them. You know what I'm saying? Six of the eight. No, so so, but it's a false narrative. Again, man. With, with, with Bo Nix and Trey, um, and excuse me, Penix. Michael Penix yeah. in particular. I I like Michael Penix. I do. You know, Michael Penix. I, I, I think he's gonna. He's a year away. He, he's probably my he, favorite quarterback coming out of the draft. He right. needs some. He yeah. needs some development. I see Bo all Nix. All of them do. They, they all do. But I'm saying with, with <laughs> Penix, because again, Penix has an injury problem. That's right. that's, that's what's gonna. That's he what's does. gonna push him down. Mm-hmm. And again, the, the, why are like he, the fact that Dallas is being linked with a quarterback? Again, we. This is why we traded for Trey Lance. But this it is was media stuff. You know what I mean? But it's they, media. They, they it's, do that. It's, it's, it's clicks. I get it. It's clicks. I can not the whole nine. Listen, what I tell you last week. And Will McClay, I trust. Will McClay. When it comes Will to the, McClay, when it bro, comes to the draft, when it comes to the draft, yes. when it comes to well, really the draft, I believe in him. I mean, anything free agency wise, I think he's working with what Steven allows him. Whatever, to Whatever, yeah, like, making chicken out chicken salad, bro. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah, so, bro. Um, but the, he's somebody that I trust, man. They talk junk about him when he made the pick with Tyler Smith. T- Ta da! You like all bro? He just knows. <laughs> he just has a knack, and he sees things that because he's a real football guy yeah. to me. Um, you know, real, you know, certain GMs that have the title of GM but don't know a thing about GMing. Um, <laughs> you know, <laughs> hey, I, just, I don't understand how he's talking about Gerald Wayne. Wayne. You talking about Gerald Wayne? Gerald? Gerald? about Gerald? He's the, uh, listen, well, I've been said, I said, Will McClay is the GM of this team, but he will never ever get the title of GM. He'll get it when 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 Jerry when Jera steps down. <laughs> nah, he's going to be gone. <laughs> nah, he's, nah, he's not leaving. He's staying. He's staying. I, 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 I believe he's going to stay. I believe he's going to stay. Much that you can continue to pay a guy. Yeah. I know he's getting paid like a real. He, he I makes more paid. than some GMs. Behind the scenes, I know he's getting, <laughs> Which, he's getting so the bread. My yeah. thing is like, why? Why would you leave that? But so yeah. But the I court, guess he like as long as they pay me, I don't need the title. Nah, you facts. know what I'm saying? Facts. Yeah. Which is which is great for us because if he was one of those type of guys that felt like, yo, I need the title, damn the money. He'd have left. He'd, he'd have left. We'd probably be screwed if we got yeah. Jera, Jera, <laughs> and Steven <laughs> running the drafts, man. For him. So. What what quarterbacks are y'all excited about? Like what? Like let's just talk about. Quarterbacks in particular. What quarterbacks like? Are you just like you know what? I think he's he's gonna be one of those ones. Well, I like, like I said, I like Penix. Um, I mean, excited about? Yeah, I like Penix. What about Williams? I, I'm not excited about Williams at all. I don't think Williams is a leader of men, I and don't I don't think I don't that either. the NFL. Playing quarterback in the NFL comes with a different type of intangible and pedigree, mm-hmm. and that's something that I didn't see him have. Now, right. listen, he could change my mind because I didn't. I thought the same thing about C.J. Stroud. But that's the stigma well, that comes along yeah. with USC. But the Georgia anyway. game mm-hmm. showed me something yeah. different. Look at Sam Donald. Look at Mark Sanchez. You mm-hmm. know, mm-hmm. yeah. He definitely yeah, played. but none of them lasted. But that's my point. <laughs> yeah, that's, my point. <laughs> that's my point, though. Like, it, just because they have the moniker of being a USC quarterback, right. That that ups their their their. Right, their draft position. Yeah. Right, 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 right. Mm-hmm. I mean, I get it. I mean, you know, phenomenal in college. Uh, yeah. Can make all the throws. The talent is there. 
I just it's the other antics. I don't know. It's not William's hate. It's, it's not. It's not hate, man. It's, it's, it's not. It's a proper evaluation. It's bro. not. You have to be able to leave men. You cannot go and be crying in your mom's lap and saying, I just want to go with my dog. Well, like, you, what? You watch, what are you talking yo, about? Man, you watch the games? You watch the games? You're going to 10 years your senior yeah. that's going to be in a huddle and looking to you for leadership. And you're going to have to be able to get in there and lead those men. He and didn't do himself any favors. He didn't do himself any nope. favors. And that's something that the, the Chicago Bears personnel or the team – that's what they liked about Justin. Justin was a leader of men, and he right. was he tough was. as nails. But yeah. here's also what I don't like about what Chicago is doing, and I mentioned this before. Shout on out our to show. yeah, I know he's a Pittsburgh fan. I used to live in Pittsburgh. Yeah, I used to live in Pittsburgh. Here's what, here's what I don't like about what what Chicago is doing right now. So they got rid of Justin Fields, and but they they've acquired some new talent and so on and so forth, and it's going to be projected they get Caleb, Will, Caleb Williams and so on and so forth, but. They also still have that. They still have their lame duck coach, Matt Eberflus. Well, that's what I said. I don't, yeah. be, I don't yeah. believe in yeah. Matt Eberflus. No. Yeah. And and that, this is the reason why Dion is telling you a year beforehand yeah. that Shador ain't. <laughs> certain places Shador ain't, ain't going. going. Yeah, ain't going. <laughs> certain places. We got some, honey, yeah, we got some yeah, still ahead yeah, in the check in yeah. from Sam Sports. Hell, yeah. 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 He's a Baltimore fan. He's a yeah, Baltimore uh, fan. He's a Ravens guy. He's a Ravens yeah. fan. But <laughs> in certain places, that's why that's why Coach Prime is like, listen, you know, he I'm letting y'all know he's coming out. Yeah. But in certain places he ain't gonna go, and I got the juice to where he don't have to go into those bad situations because we talked about it a couple weeks on the show. Bad situations can kill a young quarterback. Look yeah. what it just did to Justin Fields. Yeah. They never ever even came close to giving him this type of talent no. that he's mm-hmm. getting ready to have. Yeah. And they had him with a, a ter- of Luke Getzey yeah. as an OC. And then you had before Man. him, you had the other terrible one um, that's in that went and. Uh, piggybacked and got a ring in KC again. Matt, um, Nagy. Matt, Nagy. Matt Nagy. Yeah, Matt Nagy. So, you know, I'm, I'm just like, none of those guys know how to run teams, man. By the way, how terrible was that He just went class? for the ride. How terrible was that draft class? Which Zach one? Wilson, Trey Lance, Justin yeah. Fields, oh, saw- Mac Jones, oh, yeah. Kyle Trask, I'll, I'll Davis Mills. Listen, I, I, I just think that a few of those guys went to the wrong team. Yeah. I don't think that all of those guys are actually bad. Listen, I never believed in uh, uh, Matt Matt Jones. I, but I said, if Matt Jones... Wack 100. Wack 100. Matt, we, Matt, we, Matt Jones. We call him Wack 100. Wack 100. Yeah. <laughs> I said, but if there is a team that he could go to and be successful, it was the Patriots because they kind of fit his whole stigma the whole and aura. The whole yeah, 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 yeah. 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 And that didn't even work. So I was mm-hmm. like, I right, he really Yeah, sucked. but that's what that's what happens when you have Matt Patricia as your offensive coordinator. I get it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't trust I, I don't trust I Alabama it. quarterbacks. I've never trusted tr- Alabama quarterbacks. I don't trust anybody the, going to the, Washington. The, the last good Alabama quarterback was Joe, Joe Namath. Namath. He played <laughs> for this guy. Right, right, right. You know what I'm saying? So it's right, like so, so all the all the right. Jalen Hurts, I see my man in the chat. Yeah. I mean the yeah. only thing the only argument you do have is that he actually did play for Oklahoma. Um he and he is, you know, uh uh Lincoln. Lincoln Riley guys like, and yeah. Lincoln Riley guys have been solid Please. to say the least. Sam Bacon. Bradford, can I introduce Bacon. you with Sam Bradford? <laughs> Kyler, <laughs> can I introduce you with Kyler? Kyler? That's why I said solid. <laughs> Ky- yeah. I mean the jury's still out on Kyler. Kyler <laughs> faced some you know adversity with to the injuries. To be fair, they were never considered generational. Right, no, Kyler no, was no, no, no. in the right. draft was for the draft process. Kyler I mean, they was. looked at the draft status and automatically assumed. I get it. I mean, right. what he does as far as the college realm to have you know all of these consistent Heisman Trophy candidates and winners that's impressive. But yeah. it don't always translate to the league. And um, you know, like I said, you, you just have to have a different type of attitude when you're talking about coaching uh, grown men. So I'm gonna see and every and, and think about it. You're losing at USC. I understand the talent of that's in Chicago right now yeah. through the draft and everything, but that stuff has the gel. So what if you begin to lose then? And you playing not in the the, the division is good. The division yeah, is getting so, got yeah, better. It's good last right. year. The division is good. It's not. It's not. It's not a uh, Pac-12. No, so, <laughs> no, it's not the Pac-12. The, the NFC North is not the Pac-12. So that's what I'm saying. So when you playing in that, it's it's stuff stuff that comes with that weather. Yes. Is he ready for the Chicago weather? Or is he ready? For, is, he, is he? I mean, is Detroit. He playing inside. Is he ready to go to Green and, Bay? Um, Yo. You know, like Yo. I mean, Minnesota. Like, many, yeah, Minnesota's inside. He's lucky that Detroit has a dome. <laughs> Detroit and Minnesota do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So he's lucky there. He's good with those. But listen, games. he got to play eight or nine home games in in Soldier. Ooh. So. It get cold there in October. That's yeah. a perfect name. That's a perfect name for that stadium. You know right. <laughs> you gotta be a, you gotta be a soldier. You gotta be a soldier. <laughs> gotta be a soldier. No, but what's 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 crazy too is like we, we talked about this on on on, on my show with, with with just the quarterback draft classes. They do this every year. That's why I asked the question to you guys yeah. how y'all feel about these quarterbacks because they do this. I wish we had to drop for the generational music. They do this. <laughs> <and> they exactly. <laughs> 
like wait, it is. Wait, I like it too. Wait, wait, wait. So <laughs> it's, it's authentic. I, I, are you going where I think you're going? Yeah, I'm, I'm going to two particular draft classes. I'm going to 2022 and oh, 2021. Oh no, I thought you was going the other direction. I thought you was about to say something about uh, JJ McCarthy. Oh no, no, no. I, I was. Oh, okay. I was. It, it, like, let me, it, let, let me cook. Let me, let, let, let me, let me, let me cook. cook. I just got, the, I just got get, the herbs out the shelf. All right, cook, let, cook. let me cook. Did, you, did cook. we just get to the Giants already? Is that what we're doing? Oh, okay. Okay. Maybe. 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 <laughs> yeah, so, that's what they've been talking about. I mean, about. what I'm saying is, like, you go back to draft classes. Let's just look at the 2022 draft class, mm-hmm. all right? You had Kenny Pickett traded. You had Desmond Ritter traded. He's in the UFL right now. Malik Willis, he's headed to the UFL. You know what I mean? <laughs> Matt Carroll, he's in the UFL. Damn. Bailey Zappi and Sam Howell. All those dudes are not with their current teams, except for uh, Malik Willis, who's on his way out. Right. That's the 2022 class. The 2021 class, my man's favorite tra- draft class. Trevor Lawrence, <laughs> Mr. Generational, he's one of those guys. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> and you know who else was in that? Zach, Zach Wilson was in that draft class. You right. know what I mean? He's uh, still tra- looking to trade. Zach's still looking to get rid of him. <laughs> Trey Lance was in that draft class. He got traded to Dallas. Kellen Mond. Ju- exactly. <laughs> Kellen Mond, Justin Fields, Matt Jones. So that's what I'm saying. Like, my thing is, Mel Kuyper. And these boys, they do this every single year. Yeah. They shove these quarterbacks down everybody's throat, yeah. like, yo, this is this guy's one of them ones. One. Yeah. He's one of them ones. Mm-hmm. And and my thing is, I was I was up on CJ Stroud because yeah, he went he played for he played for the Ohio team and whatnot. <laughs> but I saw I saw the traits and I saw the ability. The ability and I was like, yeah. I was like, he's he's better than Justin Fields. He's what a lot of cats coming when Justin Fields was coming out, mm-hmm. they thought they were getting CJ Stroud. I'm just mm-hmm. like, no, no, no. Stroud, They're two different style quarterbacks. Two, yeah. two, two different, two different, different mm-hmm. style quarterbacks. So what I'm so what I'm saying is you have you have whole draft classes full of bum, full of busts, full of bums or whatever. Mm-hmm. But this year, I think that you're more likely to get at least I see maybe one, maybe two guys that I, I really believe gonna is going to be out. that are going to stand out. And to my point, let me and bring that out. I don't think it, it's going to be none of the top ones. But it's not going to be JJ McCarthy. No. It's not going to be Brock, Brock Montana 5.0. No. It's not going to be him. <laughs> he's not. He's not, bro. He, bro. I, I said this when you guys came on. My man threw one touchdown pass in the fourth quarter all year, all year. Look, Kyle would love that. Right. Kyle would be like, oh my God, Kyle would take him now if he could. Right. You know what I mean? Because, <laughs> you see what I'm saying? And I know my brother's watching, and I hope he comments, comments too. What I'm saying is, you have guys that, you know what I mean? They, they pass the eye test, quote unquote. Yeah. But then, again, I just I don't see it. And then you fast forward a year or two, they're on this list. Right. You know it what I mean? To, so, it, so, got, so, it has to translate. Um, It has to translate. But. I, I just don't. I don't know what the love affair is with JJ McCarthy. It feels very Zach Wilson ish 2.0. He looks like Zach Wilson. Yeah. You see yeah. side by side. Side by side is crazy. Right. Right. It's, crazy. Crazy. it's crazy. It's just like when you think about game situations, and when I watch college, like there was, and I'm a Big Ten guy, so I, I, exactly. I've seen enough of the team right. up north games, and it's like, right. where is his defining moment? Mm-hmm. Where is his comebacks or anything? Like everything, honestly. Systemically worked, and when it didn't work, they lost. Right. So, right. You know, the run game worked. The defense was on. Yeah. Like and even this year, like the run game, even against Alabama, the run he didn't have to make too many throws. No. Uh, you know, the run game was working. The defense was working. I mean, and Milrow helped him. You know, he's, he's, so yeah. he is a he's an amazing quarterback at handing the ball off. <laughs> like his his technique, his form. Who is wait, like, you're talking about McCarthy? McCarthy, yeah. yeah. He's one I of you're talking about Milrow. I'm no, no, saying, yeah, no, he no, missed some throws. No, too. McCarthy's one of the best guys ever. Of like the fact right, he tucks right, the arm right, in, right. extends it or whatnot. <laughs> he's amazing at that. But watching him drop back and dice up a defense. That's not let, what you're going to do. Let me know. Let me show me the game right. where he did that. Yeah. Right. Let's just play right. it in the championship right. game when Washington stopped started stopping the run. Right. He couldn't make the throws. Right. I'm like, yo, B. And that's a pro I style defense. I'm like, yo, B. This dude is not good. He's no, not that good. No, yo, no. to me, JJ McCarthy is a day three guy. Fourth round minimum, down. minimum, minimum. The minimum. fact that they're trying Man. to catapult him into the first round and the first four picks is ridiculous. It's because he, me. it's because he went to Michigan, number one, because yeah. Brady went there. Okay. That's why you see. I've heard Brady comps in it, which is insane. But again, <laughs> they're gonna do that, whatever. Yeah. And 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 that, and of course, because he played with Harbaugh, because right. Harbaugh. So he's getting. Right. And again, he, he was surrounded by so much talent. So mm-hmm. that's the. So yeah, I saw this coming. I stand ten toes down. If I'm wrong, I already said it. I wear his jersey on our show, but I see Brock Montana 5.0. That's what I see. I see it in the mechanics. I see the way he carries himself, and the fact that yo, I got an All Star team. I just need to run the offense. Right. But but in the NFL, and I have an All Star defense. Exactly. And that's exactly. all I need. You know, so, they're so, gonna yeah. get the stops. I don't see it. I don't um, see it. But Minnesota's gonna get them or the Giants. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Uh, Talking about the I, Giants. I, I hope they do. Now no. I see wide receiver is your number one. Mm-hmm. 
Yeah, but I still would go get it. I still would go beef that lineup too, man. I get a quarterback. I would I get, get a whole team. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're locked up. We're locked I'd up. get a quarterback. Come on, Daniel Penny's. Daniel Penny's really. And man? look, he was. They, they just had the press yesterday. He was, um, but he's gonna be ready. He's ready for be what? Ready for training? Camp. Ready for what? He said he's gonna what? be ready. Ready for, for Madden? He looked at crazy. <laughs> what? Um, press <laughs> anyway. I, <laughs> ready for Madden? Bro, what? What is he ready for? Look, this he just gotta perform. Me. He gotta, he gotta, he gotta go out there. What? We oh, gotta roll. Right, let, let me ask this question, bro. And why? I'm, I'm, I'm gonna go say go why. Receiver. Okay, I'll go ask the question. What, what do you expect from him this year? That he hasn't shown you in the previous. What's he in year six now? Yeah, in, about to be serious. In, in the previous five years, that's half a decade. What do you expect this man to show you this year that he hasn't shown you in the previous half decade? I'm, why, I, I need to know. I need to know. He got to show me why he paid him that money. <laughs> Sam, Sports I, Sam Sports actually said Giants had the answer in Tyrod. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Yo, he's a troller. Yeah, I like that. Big time. I mean, we got him now. So, yeah, but right. yeah, he's, he's just a break the glass in case of emergency. Type. Yeah. Of course. Which yeah. I'm pretty sure they might use. And yeah. why I said we're not going to get a quarterback with that pick? They did a sneaky signing this off season by signing Drew Locke from uh, for Seattle. Yeah, okay. like if it don't work with Daniel Jones, which I think he's on a short leash, they're gonna put Drew Locke. In. Well, that's why that's why Joe Shane had the great foresight to give him that contract like that two, John yeah. Merrill wanted, right. but they gave themselves an out yeah. because they know that this is not the guy that we want to you know be locked to. You know, we, we right. like we like having jobs, so we yeah. want to keep our jobs. <laughs> <you know? laughs> right. Don't put, one, put all your yeah. eggs in one yeah. basket. Yeah. Exactly. Absolutely not. But wide receivers, for sure. I mean, of course, you know, running back is going to be the thing because Saquon's going now. Need a young yeah. Running back. Yeah. Yeah. You definitely need a young running back to pair with somebody that you already but how do, got. But how do you feel about the offensive line? Because honestly, the answer they answered it on free agency. See, because the uh, only person that I really trust so far is Andrew Thomas. Mm -hmm. They picked up John Ryan from the uh, right, right. Uh, I like your center, Bay. but they good. I like, I like your center, Schmitz. 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 I like, I like Schmitz. They look good on paper like right now yeah. for the moment. Uh -huh. You know, so we'll, we'll we'll see how it plays out. Yeah, but I think they kind of right now, the only one that we feels picked up like four linemen in, in the free agency. Okay, um, yeah. the guy from uh, Ele um, the guy from Raiders. I can't get his name right now, but uh, oh, I know uh, you're talking about. I forget his name too, but I know you're talking about. Yeah, and they might move Evan Neal. To guard. I, that's I think what they that, need that to do. needs to happen. That would be a good that, that needs to happen. That would be no, a good thing. I, 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 I believe so too. Because too. when you try to play these guys out of position and they get exposed, you know, people think that they can't play, and it's like, ah, you playing me out of position. Right. You gotta put guys Alabama got with their strength. Yeah. yeah. Alabama guys. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I don't trust. That's why I don't even want Latham. No, I, don't I don't either. I don't. I just, I see I've been seeing mocks. I'm like, no, don't give me no damn Latham. I see, I see, you know. Because they're big maulers, but they're not athletic enough to left tackle. You know who left has a certain type of you know who Latham that. reminds yeah. me of? Leatherwood. That dude okay. who went to, yes, the, who yes, went to yes, the freaking yes, Raiders, yes, I think, yes, a couple yes, years. Yes, 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 first rounder. First rounder, yes. Alabama offensive Alex. Yes, Alex Leatherwood. Alabama offensive linemen are not it, bro. Yeah, yeah no. They haven't been it for quite some time. Their offensive linemen and their quarterbacks, they dominated in D1 and SEC. Yeah. Yeah. But I'm talking about the I'm talking about the NFC East, bro. Like, nah, yeah, or, no, the, or the AFC. No, I don't want him. I'm good. Nah. Um, Jets. Yeah. yeah, they said tight end. So you, everybody's talking about Brock Bowers. Bowers. Every, uh, right. get Bowers. Everybody's talking about Bowers. Well, listen, I, 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 I'm, I'm good with that. I would definitely take Brock Bowers because. An underrated part of being a tight end is being a part of that offensive line. Right. So we, we did make some moves. We got Simpson. Mm -hmm. We got uh, uh, Morgan Moses back. Yeah. Right. We got Tyron Smith. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. and, and, and we also got uh, for, for ten games. Yeah. You got you. You got you. Don't let them practice. And, 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 <laughs> and hopefully, and hopefully, we have a healthy Elijah Vera Tucker. Yeah. Right. So. I also think that part of the reason why our our, our our offensive line was also playing musical chairs was because we didn't also have a, a stellar tight end. I mean, we we have um, I forget his name, Jeremy something, but he he's he's more he, Rucker. The Ru Rucker. He's, he's oh, Bucca. Yeah, he's he's a he's a he's a backup. Yeah. he's a backup at best. <laughs> yeah. CJ Uzama was a huge disappointment. Yeah, he yeah. found with the Eagles. He found with the Eagles. Yeah. Now, yeah. Yeah. He wasn't a huge disappointment. Yeah. Listen, that offense was inept. Uh, and it's That's not, facts. Be That's not facts. because but he didn't, but he didn't do himself any favors either. Yeah, yeah. Uh, offensive line inconsistencies, and Zach Wilson, I don't think he can play. He can't. No. He can't. No, you're not the only one who thinks a, that. Listen, that <laughs> he, can't even, he can't even play Madden. I didn't understand <laughs> how they got, how he got. In, that's what I'm saying. I didn't understand how he got into that conversation with, you know, the Justin Fields and the Trey Lances of the world in that particular draft. Because I'm like, yo, he had one year. It's and because it was BYU. It's because it wasn't even. It's because his uncle was the owner of JetBlue, so they, you know. You want to play conspiracy theory right here? I mean, that has oh, something well, to do. Oh, well, you go ahead, educate me because I didn't know that. <laughs> 
Not just that, but he, he I, I said this to him on camera a billion times. Oh, exactly. There, yeah. we, go. there, you go. there we go. There we go. There we go. He got the G word because he catfished the yeah. Jets in his workout. Uh, yes. He catfished yes. it. He was that making one throw. Yes, he did. Yes, off shit. He off the platform. Oh my god. I never heard. I never heard. I did heard his off best Joe Flacco impression. And that's what got them. I never heard Please off platform used on so <laughs> much on ESPN yeah, and Fox than, 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 than oh when this guy they're my like, god. oh my god, he makes he's making Mahomes esque throws. I in, was like, in what game? In a t-shirt, in a t-shirt <laughs> throwing the one guy. You have Orvlowski actually pulling for him. Bro. Like, nothing missed. Uh, nothing. I'm, glad, I'm so glad that we. Got, we I'm so glad that we can curse on the radio here because yeah, 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 fucking <laughs> piss me off <laughs> with the with, with with you know the the, the Zach Wilson truthers out there. Oh yeah. my god, Orvlowski. Please don't don't mention that. Dan Orvlowski has his tattoo. on on his back. But why <laughs> big facts. Listen, big facts. Dan Olowski's memory as a player is running out of bounds. Yeah. Oh yeah. So why should I'm running out the back of the end zone? So why do we even pay him any money? Own 16, baby. Own 16. 16. Yes. 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 Like yes. he is the orchestrator of that. He, was yes. he went a yeah. whole entire season and couldn't win one game. <laughs> I don't follow like you know I don't put too much stock into his uh, takes his but he's on takes, he's man. on NFL live but the thing I is, mean I get it five days a week I get it I get it <laughs> like, and he gets torched every time he does right so he does it's it's the, the thing that makes me mad answer. more is that he gets Hello. paid to be torched like yeah. he doesn't care he, if he's wrong right. as long as the clear right. check clear he yeah. said <laughs> Dallas should have let Dak walk and trade for Russell Wilson. He said that with a straight face. With a straight face. That's, that was the answer. That's a lot, over there a lot of this stuff is shock value. All right? Yeah. And they try to say things to go viral. It's and clicks. they do end up going viral. Yeah. Off of it. That's the name of the game like now. Like Clint Baitless. Start, yes. But I, don't, yes. I, I just don't yes. have any. I don't find that to be like. Uh, uh, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I can't think. I had a brain fart. You had a Dan Orlowski. <laughs> you had a Dan Orlowski. That's a chance. Yeah. It's not yeah. rewarding. You had a Dan no, to do that. Yeah. Like that, yeah. that's the that's the word I was looking for. Rewarding. Yeah. But yeah, the NFL draft, man. I, I always yeah. look forward to this time. Is in Detroit, so Detroit fans are going to be soup. Right, uh, but I, uh, not, to, to finish no, with the Jets though, yeah, though I, I do like how it's set up because yeah, I would take Brock Bowers. We definitely, um, mm -hmm. we, we definitely need to do more with the offensive tackles yes. because we we need to not only have some good backups, but we ha need to have our guys for the future. Yeah. Because so far we only even plan for 2024. I don't know what the hell we're gonna do in 2025. Right. So and, and also with safety, I like the pick also because we just lost Jordan Whitehead, yeah. went right. back to Tampa. We just re-signed Ashton Davis, that doesn't excite me at all. Okay. So we yeah, safety is definitely a yeah, need. I would say because yeah. you know we we I, I love that we have sauce and. We we still have um, uh, we, we, uh, DJ. DJ Reed, DJ Reed. Mm -hmm. uh, but you know we still need some help on the secondary. Yeah, yeah. Hey man. Yeah. So a lot All of right. team needs, man. Uh, Couple team needs. Five respected teams. We'll break down the draft more Nine next needs. week. Oh, uh, for sure. Ooh, but yeah, ooh. it's it's here. It's, it's single it. digits now. I'm 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 way, I bro. love the draft. Uh, yeah. I'm yeah. gonna too. I'm, I'm gonna be working. I watch but all three but I'm, I'm still gonna be watching like yeah. in, yeah. in between. Unfortunately, I usually go to my life stadium, aka the air uh, air conditioning unit in East Rutherford. <laughs> I usually go there for the draft because you know Giants and Jeff Hansen go there for the yeah. like draft party and mm -hmm. everything. Mm -hmm. But unfortunately, I won't be there this year because I've actually moved my recording of first class second place from Tuesdays to Thursdays. Oh, okay. So you know, I'm just gonna have to you know watch it on the highlights or something. That's it. Were you at MetLife when y'all? Drafted Zach Wilson? No, I was there. I was I was actually there, thankfully, when they drafted Sauce and oh, Gary yeah. Wilson no, and okay, Jermaine yeah. Johnson. Oh, nice! That was a good great, draft. That was a great draft. Yeah. Yeah. Great draft. I, I was I was celebrating. Yeah. I was celebrating oh, yeah. that day. So no, no, was, yeah, that was Sauce good one. is my guy. He's no, one of my favorite players, bro. I love Sauce. Yes. Now streaming all digital platforms. That was a good draft. Speaking of Gary Wilson, yeah, that's my guy. As we segue over, right? One of the debates is, you know, why receiver you? It's been the conversation for a long time yeah. between about five universities. When you mm -hmm. talk about Alabama, uh, you talk about USC, you talk about LSU. And not to cut you off, uh, this is segment is sponsored to you by some Sand Sports <laughs> Multimedia the Network. Thanks for the graphics, Sand Sports. Got to pay the bills. I got to pay the bills. I got to pay the bills. Pay the bills. Uh, but yeah, Alabama, LSU, um, USC, Ohio, the crop, right? Ohio State, Clemson, right? Mm. Um, you know, everybody's been talking about how. No, you good. Uh, everybody's been talking about why receiving you, why receiving you, and you know, you think about what is the criteria because the goalposts always move. Facts. Um, sometimes people Facts. say, "Nah, they just got to be good in college," and I'm like, "Well, I feel like they should be a, have to, you know, translate over into the league too." Um, I mean, they, they also made changes with the with the with the kickoff now. Yeah, yeah. yeah. XFL, they're yeah. going UFL rules. Yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm hyped for it. I, mean, I like it. It, it. Yeah, depending on who you ask, 
if you got the personnel for it, right. it, it, it could be a big weapon. Yeah, but Josh Cribbs is not coming out of the backfield anytime soon. <laughs> Joshua Cribbs. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you lucky Whitehead? <laughs> Y'all had him too. <laughs> so, um, the debate, right? Yeah. So, when you think about Clemson, right? You got yeah your hitters, I guess you could say, right? When you got T. Higgins, D. Hop, Sammy Watkins, mm-hmm. Hunter Renfro, and Mike, Mike Williams. Williams. Yeah, Mike Williams, right? That's solid. And, neighbor, um, and neighbors about to come out. And you got an honorable mention. Just saying. No, this is Clemson. This is Clemson. Oh, it's Clemson. My bad. Yeah, looking, you got looking, your honorable looking, mention of Justin Ross, Martavius Bryant, uh, Ray Ray McLeod. And Shout what's, out Martavius. What's cl- what's coming is I have an NA because when I looked it up, nobody they have. This is the first time they have no wide receiver in the draft. Ooh. This year, it's all defensive guys and run, and Shipley at yeah. running back. Yeah, so it's like I mean, they, they I, maybe felt, maybe Clemson uh, wide receiver you is falling off. I maybe mean, Clemson, that can get well, them out of the Clemson's maybe. falling off. Like okay, the maybe that's off. maybe, so that's, yeah, that's, maybe that's, that's they a big out the yeah. conversation with that. Mm-hmm. Now the other one that's sneaky good are USC wide receivers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sneaky good. You got Amon Ross St. Brown, who mm-hmm. just had an all-pro year. You yep. got Michael Pittman Jr., mm-hmm. Robert Woods, the long-time vet. You got Drake London, who people mm-hmm. think yeah. is going to take off this year because I, I, of, I think he's of, he's he's about of to Kirk Cousins. He's nice. Yeah. He's nice. Yeah, 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 and then nice. you have Ms., uh, Jordan Addison, right? Um, the honorable mm-hmm. mention was Nelson Aguilar and Marquise Lee. I don't you, know you, you, you can take you can take you can take Aguilar off that list. You can Listen, take, you can take him off. <laughs> he was good there. Was that? Yo, it was good there. It's honorable that? mention. Ignorant thinkers. I know. I know you agree with me. There. Oh yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, he's on, he's on, he's honorable. <laughs> Listen, that's the no. I think he's solid. I don't think. I think the. I think that was Howie not knowing how to draft. <laughs> yeah. He wasn't to no, take yeah. him. You yeah. don't take Bad. him. In the he's, first not a, he's not a first-round right. receiver. Um, and what's coming? Jefferson. You got Brendan Rice, who's Jerry Rice's son, yeah, yeah, uh, and like who him. also was the lead touchdown getter mm-hmm. uh, uh, this year mm-hmm. for for the uh, for the Trojans. Mm-hmm. And then you got Todd Washington, who's also coming out, supposed to be like a, three, a day three guy. Mm-hmm. So sneaky good. They got some guys coming. Um, and then when I'm gonna go to uh, I'm gonna go LSU, right? LSU had Odell Beckham. Mm-hmm. Jamar Chase, Justin Jefferson, so big money. Those three big money guys. They're gonna they gonna get contracts. Man. DJ yeah, Chark is a beast, man. Mm-hmm. DJ Chark, DJ Chark, Jarvis Landry, and then for the uh, honorable mention, I put uh, even though he's gonna be out of the league because he gambled. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even know you could say. Kayshawn Boutte, oh, Terrence Marshall, and Brandon LaFell, who didn't quite pan yeah, out either, yeah, yeah, but he was a beast in college. Yeah, he was. He um, was. And then what's coming? You got Brian Thomas Jr. and you got Malik Neighbors this Ooh, year. Neighbors. So see, it's almost like they keeping the keeping they, it going. Yeah, they and they always bring pairs at you, too. Right. It's right. not, right. It's not right. just one. Odell Landry. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Chase, Chase Jefferson. Jefferson. Yeah. 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 And they throwing yeah. neighbors and Brian Thomas. Yeah. Yeah. They yeah. always come in pairs. Yeah. You, know? yeah. So, you got to respect that. You got to respect that. You got to respect, 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 respect that. You got to respect right? Yeah. I like LSU. So, you, okay, so when you go to Alabama, you got Amari Cooper, Devontae Smith, Julio Jones, who's going to be going into the Hall of Fame soon. Absolutely. You got Jalen Waddle, Calvin Ridley, who's back in the league. Just got paid doing his thing. Uh, yeah. doing his thing. Yeah, he just got paid. Honorable mention. Unfortunately, guys want to drive uh, you're drunk and fast. Yeah. <laughs> um, but Henry Ruggs, you know, was on. Oh, Could have been man. one of the special Could've ones. Could have right? been one of the ones. Man. Jerry Judy and John Mechie. Well, keep it a real. Uh, wish um, Jerry yep. Judy just, you know, went yep. to the Browns now. Oh, so he's yeah, gonna yes, go he over there with Watson. Mm-hmm. And John Mechie's coming along. You know, mm-hmm. he's recovering. Um, you know, he beat cancer. So, yeah. uh, you know, that's gonna take a little minute as far as football strength and all that type of mm-hmm. stuff. But right, right. he was a third round pick, so yeah. Yeah. they they believed in him. And then what's coming? They have Jermaine Burton in this year's uh, draft. Yeah. Yeah, right, yeah. and then last but not least, the <laughs> right? oh god, yo, <laughs> I gotta say, D, so right? says the D, the Ohio State Lose University, me. where you got Michael Thomas, Terry McLaurin, Chris Olave, Garrett Wilson, Jackson Smith, and Jigba. Uh, the last three were drafted the last three years, pretty much. Mm-hmm. Uh, uh, Olave and Wilson came out together, mm-hmm. um, both first round picks, Jackson Smith and Jig were the last one. Um I don't like the honorable mentions, but you know, Paris Campbell, that's the one that was one of your guys. Giant I took, great. I don't think that giant great man when he came out. I don't think that Paris Campbell ever developed into a receiver, but he got the speed. He, he got Damian, call the speed. DeAndre Hopkins, but pick up Paris Campbell. Uh, this is shit uh, I gotta do. <laughs> <laughs> How you pick up is this the motherfucking things I get? <laughs> he want to be on a team, but you go with Paris Campbell. Right. Could have been, been a contender. Could have been a contender. Noah Brown, Curtis Samuel. And then what's coming? What's coming? 
Marvin Harrison Jr. You see this how shit. he's like bigging up on No, this. calm yeah, down, bro. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah, you're not gonna I'm doing LSU. Hold on. Shoot, you gotta put a little extra sauce on, on it. Bro. Bro. But look, bro. you gotta look what's coming. Shoot, yeah, you could go with them. Um, Marvin Harrison Jr., who's coming this year, probably a top five. Not probably. Nah, definitely should be a top five. Top five, pick. five minimum. And next year, you're gonna have a Mecca Buka yeah, coming out. Yeah. Okay, yeah. he's a Sick problem too. Nigeria, weekend. baby. And then <laughs> you just you just interviewed him this week, man. It's a lot of I hype. Did. It's early. He's a freshman, but he's definitely projected and on the tra- it, it, not the tra- on the trajectory yet because we have to see how he you know plays games. But Jeremiah Smith, man. Is one of these guys that they call him baby everybody Julio, who's baby talking Julio. about him has been saying Ooh. special things yeah. about this kid, man. Yeah. Six four, yeah. two fifteen. He already got his man body, um, and he he. Uh, I've seen some clips where he's running routes, doing one man. I know it was one on one, so you really can't get too excited. But the I'm looking more at him and not what he did to the actual DB. But the, his feet, man, mm-hmm. to have those type of feet coming right out of high school. Impressive, man. So it's gonna be big things. Um, you know, there's a tradition in Ohio State where this is black stripe. Those are the guys that are like developing. It's almost like a, a um, like a, a what you call it period. Um, man, I can't. I'm, I don't know why I'm drawing blank with words today. Take another sip, bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I, you know, but like a like a a, a but, trial period, right? Yeah, yeah. Like, like, you, pro, like you, probation. You gotta, you gotta earn your red stripe. Right, right, right. He right. was the first player to lose his. Mm. First, I mean, killing guys in practice, and he going against the ones mm. killing them some guys. Some good ones man. over there. There's too. some good ones yeah. over there, man. Then they're all right there too. Jersey yeah, guys. and they're talking about that. That secondary might be the BIA, the best in the country, the best mm. in America this year. Oh, um, yeah, guys. Listen, we just seen a couple. Is you say the Jersey guys? It's Jersey guys. Igbenosin out of mm-hmm. Union. Yeah, he's yeah. a he's a starter over there. Number one, you mm-hmm. got Bonsu who went to St. Peter's Prep. Prep yeah. He's playing safety over there, and uh-huh. then you had McLean from uh, Jalen McLean catching interception in that game yeah. and, and returning to the yeah, house out of Senior Hall Prep, Prep, man. So. I mean, it's, the talent is there, um, but we talking about wide receivers right now. I don't want to get too hyped, man, because Penn State got. I was just upset. about to say, when are we gonna get to Penn State? Man, <laughs> man, you no, gonna name wanna. the whole fifty-three? <laughs> nah, my bad, my bad. But we talking about. I mean, but well, next, we'll see you guys next week. <laughs> <laughs> but to, no, excuse me, but to me, I, I feel like Ohio State and LSU. Are are definitely the contenders. <laughs> Those were my picks <laughs> for, for one and the, two. For the one two, because and it depends on what happens. Because it, like I said, with the with what I just named as far as Mars, Marvin Harrison Jr. and Mecca Abuka and Jeremiah Smith. Those are possibly you talking about three at least top ten type yeah. of picks. Mm-hmm. I have to see. Well, we'll see where Malik Neighbors goes. Brian Thomas is projected to go late first round. Late first round. But yeah. what is after them? That's the thing, because yeah. Jeremiah Smith is after Ibuka. Um, well, yeah, he's Abuka. gonna be after Abuka, uh-huh. and and after M- uh, MHJ. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So what do they have, Malik Neighbors and Brian Thomas? What's after them? And that's what. Like, that's the thing that you gotta f- figure yeah. out to yeah. keep it going. I think you know Clemson kind of fell to the wayside. USC probably they don't got too much coming out as far as top tier talent. Guys, you guys definitely give the kudos to Brian Hartline who's over there Ooh, at Ohio yeah, State. It's a factory right uh, now. It's a you know, factory. It's a wide receiver factory. And they mm-hmm. just signed, committed, got the number one and number two guys to commit for twenty five mm-hmm. and twenty six. So it's it's like a it's a thing. It's yeah, a factory yeah, 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 yeah. for real. For real. Yeah. It's wide receiver for real. Um, yeah. Another team that we didn't mention was Ole Miss. Ole Miss. Mm, Ole Miss. Yeah, they, they got some yes, boys. They, they got some, some guys um, too. Yeah, yeah, when we talk there. about uh, AJ K- Brown, AJ Brown, DK, DK Metcalf. Yeah. Metcalf um, um, what was the other guy that didn't pan out? <sighs> Latrell uh, oh, Treadwell. Yeah, yeah. They got, they got uh, AJ Brown. You didn't say AJ yeah, Brown. Yeah, yeah. No, he, no, we mentioned AJ. He's the first okay. person we named. Okay, cool, cool. cool. Laquan, Laquan Treadwell. They got a couple this year that's gonna uh, be coming. Rogers. Out, so. uh, Rogers. 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 Yeah. Rogers. Um, what is his name? Not not, not Aaron, of course. But uh, uh, he plays in. Uh, he was with the Jets. Uh, no, Elijah Moore. Elijah, Elijah, Moore, Elijah, Moore, Moore, Elijah Moore, not Rogers, yeah. Elijah Moore. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, man, they got some talent over there too, man. Mm-hmm. They running gun over well, there with Lane. What's the other kid they had there? Mingo, Mingo, was that the yeah. kid? Mingo, oh, yeah, 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 Mingo. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. From, he was with the Browns, right? Uh, this year, no, was, no, 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 no. was he with the? Was he, was he with Carolina? Some, I Carolina. forgot. Carolina, Carolina, yeah, 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 yeah,
Clemson. And, and when no, I was looking I at the roster when AJ Brown and Matt Cash was over there. I mean, Ingram was their tight end uh, at the time. Right. They they had, they they had, yeah, that, that, yeah, yeah, that's squad. Like, yeah, they yeah know, quiet as kept. Ole Miss got some. Yeah, outside weapon wise, they got some guys, man. And you know, I I like Ole Miss definitely in that conversation. Yeah, yeah. So. Yeah, you definitely have a debate with LSU. You go back and forth with those guys, you know, uh, Ohio State. But, Supreme, uh, I, I hate to, I, Supreme, I hate to give, gotta say, it. I hate to give. We gave you one. We gave you one of ours, Julian Fleming. Appreciate uh, it. You know, it. yeah, it. former. He was a former uh, top receiver. Yeah, he was coming with his class and too. He, he did work for us too. He uh-huh. did. Well, so. I, I'm gonna give it to Ohio State. They just—it's just the numbers. Yeah. I think what, like you mentioned before, LSU has those pairs. Yeah. Like LSU you have the pairs. You, 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 you see, you, you see too, yeah, like, you, you see why. Butte like, messed it up for them. Yeah, he they, did. He did. Butte was supposed to be one of those. Right. Those ones. He was supposed to be one of those ones. Right. Not only was he a six-round pick, and I think now I'm starting to think like maybe he went that late because they knew. About oh, his flags. about the red flags in the, the situation. Flags. You don't but fall to me. You don't fall from a. Fr- you don't have that type of talent and go to the sixth round. Yeah, yeah. There was a, so there was a bunch of red there, flags man. on him. It's a bunch there of was. red flags there. Yeah, yeah. No, but I get. I give it again. The numbers is you got to give it to the Buckeyes. You know that that that's for yeah. me because again, like you lead with those pairs. You got like you said, you got neighbors and um, and Thompson Thomas coming out this year. Yeah. You had Chase and Jefferson, which is still crazy that they were on the same team, same. just mm-hmm. gritty and all over the country to a chip or whatnot. Yeah. But you had Odell. You see what I'm saying? But like the Buckeyes, it's just it's just dude after dude after dude. dude Alave, yeah. Grabber Wilson. Yeah. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. And, and Jeremiah's baby Julio. You know what I mean? Coming out now, it's just like, to me, it's just. It's, it's full body of work. They yeah. just have more dudes that like are just like w- like certified ones, and then came to the league and 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 put yeah, it on. Put like it on. like JSM JSM is really nice. You know what I mean? I'm like Jackson y'all should, Smith y'all should have got him. Y'all should have got him. I wanted him. I, 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 wanted him. I, sh- I was shocked they passed on him. I was like, why is he not a Jet? Right. That is, you know what I mean? But it's we just like. Have Will McDonald. Jesus. Yeah. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> got to. Got to. Have, yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. Not, needless to say, I'm not loving it. <laughs> nah. I mean, all. it's only his second year. Yeah. yeah. I, I mean, but. Your but you could have had your first round. You could have had you have JSM. To, you, you have to be an impact player. You could have right J- You could have had JSM and Garrett Wilson on the same yes. team. Yeah. Yes. Boy, yes. That'd have been and, that'd have been nice. And then you, and you, it would have been the first time that Aaron Rodgers actually got a wide receiver in the draft. In the first round. In the first <laughs> round. <laughs> in the first round. Yeah. Yeah. Shout out to Arena 5 channel, man. Checking in, man. Uh, oh, I know, no I know man Arena pregnant. 5. What's up? Uh, <laughs> uh, checking in for No Man Program. One of the best shows on here on Sundays and uh, during the weekend. So, shout him out, man. All right. So, I got another. Why are we on wide receivers, right? Hey, Grump, um, hit me with the other one. Why are we on wide receivers, right? Oh, so, I did a start. I did a start, bench, and trade, right? I start to. I saw this earlier today. I knew you was going <laughs> to do something start with Start to. <laughs> bench to. No, cut two and trade two to your division Wait, say, it, say it one more time. Start two. Start two. Cut two. Mm-hmm. And you trade two to your division So basically, basically we're playing a game for Mary Fuck Kill. That's what <laughs> we're doing. Right? If you want to use that language, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, you go. We're going to start with you. Start two. Ooh. Can I just do my start now? Yeah, just, start, just, to, just yeah. to start. Let's do a start on this round. Okay. I'm definitely starting Andre Johnson. I'm definitely mm-hmm. starting Andre Johnson. I, I got mm-hmm. to. Mm-hmm. Um, who, man? I, I see, I need a goon to be my number two, to be my Robin. So I'm gonna go with Steve Smith. Yeah, I would have gone that way. Steve way. Smith was a freaking. <laughs> he, he was a problem. He's a problem. So yeah, give me Andre, because you're not singling up out of out of my dudes right there. And one of them is probably gonna not probably one of them's gonna fight you. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, I'm, I'm gonna go with those two. Yeah, we think too much alike. I don't like it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because I was thinking the same thing, True. man. To be honest, um, I was th- I was going Andre. Yeah, we're I was, both. I like I like I we're like, both in the nation. We're both in California. Right. Let's just let's just stay there. We're gonna talk about college. We're gonna talk about college. Let's I like tough. Stay right physical, there. I like tough physical receivers, man. Mm-hmm. And I'm definitely going Andre and um, Steve. Um, yeah, for sure. Sam starting shit on yeah, the No, nah, he's just already. being retarded. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, you know, one, once he starts saying certain things, you'll start to question whether this guy really know the game or My not. My man just be talking, bro. Like, but it's I love really, it. it's I really love it. shock value. Because yeah. ain't no way you start no damn Ocho on both. I wish you guys would have put, put Fitzgerald in the mix. 
Right. I mean, Did that would have made it way like, too. That would have really, that would have really made it a difficult. That would have been the right? out Deshaun Jackson, right? Deshaun Jackson. No, nah, I would take out Bolden. Deshaun Jackson. Oh, Bolden? Nah. I'd have taken. I'd have taken out Hines. Yeah. Honestly, I'd have taken out Hines. Wait, oh, it was so like that. It was yo. start and what? Start do what? And we cut. Start, cut, start, start cut, bench and, and then and trade too. Um, I I trade uh, the, uh, what you call it to my division rival. He already was there, and mm-hmm. you know he killed Dallas for a, a lot of times. But it's not nothing that we couldn't live with. <laughs> Djax, um, Djax, yeah. I ain't cut um, his shit off, bro. And <laughs> and and I would trade uh uh I would trade uh Heinz Ward uh to my division rival. I don't care about the Heinz Ward. I mean, he was a tough guy too. Um, but I'm uh yeah, I'm definitely gonna cut. The other two, I don't want. I don't want. You know, to me, Ocho was a scary matchup, man. Yeah, yeah. Man, that's gonna yeah. be one of my scary guys matchup. Yeah, a yeah. Sc- very scary matchup. I don't want to have to deal with the him. Quick, he had the quickest feet. It came okay. for me. It came down to Ocho and Steve mm-hmm. for my for my number two. Because again, I, I need a I need a Robin. You know, you need a Robin. Right. But so, um, I mean, I'm. I'm definitely trading DJX, bro. Like I'm, I'm, I'm trading him in. Like yeah, yeah. He, he was a one trick pony. Yeah, bro. If it, he was if not. It, a, if he wasn't going deep, he wasn't. Pl- it wasn't nothing to do. He ran a nine route. That's it. His to entire perfection. career, bro. <laughs> to perfection. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> to perfection. One of the greatest nine route runners. Nine route runners ever. <laughs> in the history. And pump returners. Yes. Pump returners. Yes. And pump returners. But ask him to run a route tree. I would actually would love to watch him. I would love to see him. I love to watch him. Yeah. He just was. He was smaller than everybody. He was fast. Than everybody, he has some quickness. Um, I think just you know, because of the returnability, yes. Um, and you know, he was hard to catch up with, and I think his speed was deceptive to the point where you know, you would think as a safety you were deep enough, and then next thing you know, he's, he's running right by you. you, he's by and, and he's by trying you. to play catch up, and you're yeah. done at that point. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, he had the quarterbacks that knew how to get the ball to him, but at the end of the day, like it wasn't a game where I was like. Oh my God, Steve! You know uh, how we gonna D-Jax? stop Deshaun Jackson? Right. It's you know what like, I'm yo, like, way deep when he out there. <laughs> get as deep as you can. Right. Don't get you know if you give up anything short, let him catch the short. And shit. you can jam him. You can you jam can. him when he's not in the slot. That's you can what j- I'm saying. You, you can't jam, jam, jam the, these other guys. You are you not jamming. You're not jamming Bolden. Bolden. You're not you're j- jamming on the field. You ain't jamming off the field. You're not Bolden. jamming Andre. Yeah, no, no. You're not, jam- you're not jamming little five nine Steve Smith. No. And you talking about the toughest, toughest nails, toughest. Of his nails. He's yes. still tough on the mic. Yeah, exactly. Oh, he ain't doing that on that like he, he was about to swing on Jerry Judy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it it about to happen, bro. Yeah, he's just another jag. I call him a jag. Just another he's jag. Just, just another guy. guy. He's exactly. just an average guy. Yeah. And if it was five years, <laughs> if it was five years ago, he'd have swung, <laughs> swung on Judy. And lost his job. And Absolutely. Like, Absolutely. He was trying to apologize to that man that night too. Like, yeah, but you know these young guys. Yeah, young boys. They're so sensitive. Yeah, young boys is different now. They're so sensitive, man. And then here he is. He's on his second team so now you get the chance to show you know I mean Steve, you, Steve wasn't wrong he you, wasn't you tra- train the first round pick for especially a wide receiver right that says a lot says a lot it says a lot the team that drafted you did not give you a contract you exactly to, to another spot when, you, when the team that money. drafts you as especially the wide receiver they don't pick up that fifth year option that says a lot, lot. Mm-hmm. it does so as to your production and right. remember when that draft came about they was talking about how Jerry Judy was supposed to be one of the months. Yeah. He was supposed mm-hmm. to be the guy. I was still big. I was big on CD. I, I just was. CD, for me, it was CD and Je- CD Jefferson were my 1A and 1B one, one the entire time. I, li- I liked Judy. I thought Judy was, was good, good. But I was just like, do you see? It was certain things when yeah. I watched Oklahoma game where I was like, yo, if, 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 and I didn't even know if it was possible or not because I'm like, he going to be yeah. going. Yeah. But I'm like, yo, if this dude was ever in the star, I said, damn. I would love to have a guy like that because I saw natural receiving ability. Yes. And he was returning shit in, in, in he was. college. He was. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, the wiggle. Yes. It's something about guys that know how to return kickoffs, punts, whatever. They have that extra wiggle. Right. Mm-hmm. He wasn't the fastest, but he had that wiggle. Right. And now you even see it now. He got the it's the it's the wiggle. He ain't the fastest. He only ran a four or five in the combo. Exactly. And he did he did it in the slot. Even though and he did it outside. Pretty fast. Four or five is still it's got still crazy. Fast. For an it's average no, human a, being. Right. A four, a four five <laughs> four is five fast. Is still got People crazy. think four if you don't run a four three, you slow. Yeah. Which like, is crazy. Nah, nah. nah. If you run a four four or four yeah, five, 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 you're yeah. still yeah. really, really fast. A lot of people can't run a four five on their best day. Nah. And CD got busy in the slot and on the outside. On the outside. That was the other thing. The versatility. I'm like, and now you're seeing how it translates to the league now. And a lot of guys are starting to get drafted that have that skill set and ability right. because 
you just add a different dynamic to an offense when you can do both. Yeah, you facts. Know what I'm saying? Big I, facts. It's, it's hard to de- it's hard to, to double team. You. Right. Move right. out. Oh, oh, y'all want to double? Yeah. Okay, we're gonna move him to the slot. Now what you gonna do? Now you have to adjust. Absolutely. So, that's why that's why I love about Garrett Wilson because he has that same. He ability. has the same ability. And with the right guys OC, that know the, the right can o- do that. With the right OC, you gotta know the right tree. OC. That's why I, I, I want to see You gotta know the, the right tree OC. to do that. Yeah. He's the, like he's doing this with with. Gotta he know. haven't really have a legit quarterback. Nope. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I just want. You only have one for legit. four plays. That's it. Right. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> it's something to say about guys that don't really have the quarterbacks and still get busy. still get busy. The yeah. Andre Johnsons. Yes. Uh, the Garrett Wilson. The Amari Coopers. The Amari Co- well, Amari DeAndre Coopers. Hopkins. The DeAndre Hopkins. Yeah. yeah. Amari Cooper had DeAndre that for four Brooks, years. For sure. He did. And I, that that was his best to me. He did. That was his best time. But mostly, he's, what, mostly but he's starting to get busy again. Mostly what he's doing in Cleveland, though. Like he's he's he, I mean, aside, he had Watson for a handful of games, but yeah, no, bro, he's, he's playing play, with he's playing with XFL guys. Nah, he's playing yeah, <laughs> yeah. mostly his whole time in Cleveland. Yeah, so yeah, he's and yeah. still putting up nasty work. But that's what I'm saying. The guys that know the tree, the right. route running guys that know how to get open and get that separation. Yeah, it don't matter who their quarterback yeah. is. Oh. It almost seemed like it because Facts. they just get open. Yeah. yeah. Mm. It's the guys that are limited that, you know, you'd be like, yeah, well, I'd love to see him play with a Hall of Fame quarterback. And I'm like, like, bro, he knows how to run the fade. Right. <laughs> that's, what kept, <laughs> that's what kept D-Hop. Uh, I'm telling you, D-Hop is another one. He know the route tree, but not only that, he had a mittens for hands. Yeah, facts. And facts. When, the, when the ball touches hands, he ain't, he ain't dropping, dropping it. it. He's so not he dropping has a it. great catch radius. He knows how to run the route tree. Man, no matter who was back there, man, he right. was playing with all types of guys. <laughs> <laughs> Tim Savage, Tim Bird. I felt wow. bad for D Hop, yeah, bro. I was happy when D Hop had got uh, destroyed when they, when they, when they was in Houston. Yeah, man. I was I hyped he for him. Finally, has a quarterback. I was hyped for him, man. And then he had that little bit of whatever with uh, oh bullshit. boy, with, with O'Brien. With, no, uh, well, he played with Kyler for like two seconds. He, yo, he did. Had, yeah, he had a little magic together. I, I was talking about <laughs> O'Brien because O'Brien was the reason why he yeah. got about it. Yeah, it's crazy, but you know. Goes without saying. Yeah, so uh, I'm surprised you don't like Bowden. Uh, no, 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 no. I didn't say I didn't like Bowden. Yeah. I said that if I had to take someone out yeah. to replace him with Fitzgerald, okay, okay. then that, that, that would have okay, been okay, my okay. guy. But I know Bowden, I love, Bowden, I Bowden consistent. Yeah, right. Bowden. Yes. Bowden and. and, and no, it's, just, it's just the hands for me, bro. The, 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 What's his face? The hands of Fitzgerald is just a beast. Those are the mm-hmm. lunch pail guys. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. Those yeah. are the guys yeah. you definitely yeah. want to go to war with. Those yeah. are definitely the lunch pail guys. I mean, Hans Ward did everything. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, catch the ball, block, uh, he was a good leader. knuckle up. He was a, good he was leader, a yeah. straight t- a leader, straight yeah. tough guy, man. And then you know, um, if you need him to throw, he'll throw. Yeah. Like he just was one. Of the, he's labeled a receiver, but he really was a football player. He was a goon. He was a That's football what I loved player. About him. I loved, man, again, I grew up in the nineties, so yeah. I, I'm, I'm a fan of goons, basketball, goons, and football, bro. Give me at least, give me a Udonis Haslam. <laughs> you know what I mean? Give me, give me he a Dennis that, Rodman. That you know what I mean? He was that unsung guy. Give me that dude yeah. who does all the dirty he work. He was that unsung field. guy. He's yeah. the reason why. Uh, uh, what's 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 do? Is that Vontez perfect? Is he the reason why Vontez? No, Philip Rivers. Yeah, yeah, Woo! yeah, yeah. That yeah, career right ended really fast because of Hans Ward. Mm-hmm. Right. You know, you know that's when they, they stopped the crack back uh, blocking <laughs> because of that. Yeah, yeah, he yeah. was the king of the crack. Oh back. man, yeah. oh, man. So you had to keep your head on the swivel in in that era because yeah. 80, you got to find eighty six and fast. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, mm-hmm. he was knocking jokers out. Yes, yeah. like so. purposely, <laughs> purposely, purposely. <laughs> <laughs> All right, man. Before we head out, man, we got uh, we got to give shout out to the ladies, man. Last night the WNBA draft. Yes. Uh, they take place uh, mm-hmm. last yes, night. Sir. Uh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. Uh, and uh, Clayton, yes. as expected, Clayton Clark did go number one. To the fever, uh, right? To the fever. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, then I, I believe Cameron Brink went to the Sparks and number two. Uh, then you had the pair, Kadosa. Yeah. Kedosa. Chicago. Man, Chicago oh, man. They man. laid, uh-huh. they laid the, 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 the foundation. Yeah. Mm-hmm. No, I sc- I, now they- you... And who who gonna rebound? On bro, them? they yeah. got two goons <laughs> down there, they, bro. They not just men. man. They they goon. Angel yeah. Reese has been my favorite player for the long. Oh, she is a goon, bro. You know, you know she from Baltimore, you bro. Know. Like you just know. You just know it, Kali. She either from Baltimore or Newark. Right. <laughs> it's one or the other. 
<laughs> yeah. It's you one of the she, she definitely East Coast tough. <laughs> yes. Big, tell. big facts. Tell. Yeah. Right. Her, her and Cardoso, Cardoso on the same team, man. Yeah. Good, yeah. good luck getting a rebound. Uh, yeah, yeah. That's what you're <laughs> yeah. saying, man. That's what I'm Ain't saying. Yeah. No nah. Uh, yeah, man. Last night, I think they and they just put the numbers out for that. They hit a crushing record last night. 2.5 uh, viewers. Oh, yeah. Um, for the NBA, NBA, NBA draft, man. She's, uh, she's a needle mover, yeah, man. You got yeah. to give her a little Clark, man. This is the down part of it, though. Because now... All I saw surface in today was about the contract. Was a salary, right? yeah. Oh, and salary, yeah. we know that the salary is what you know, it is. It is yeah, what it is, yeah, right? Yeah. And it's not going to be what it is as far as the NBA. You're talking about the NBA, you know, 50, 60 plus years, um, you know, and all of that type of stuff. They're selling out arenas, merch. Instead of complaining, just support the women's game more. Yeah, yeah. And it'll exactly. be. The numbers will come the up. The numbers will come mm-hmm. up. They will. Mm-hmm. Um, they will. Because at one point, they wasn't making 300000 mm-hmm. right. They was making a hundred. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. <laughs> you know, 40000 a year. Mm-hmm. Right. So, it's like, it's coming, but at the same time, continue, go to these games, sell out these arenas, mm-hmm. buy the merch, um, and, you know, watch more. I, I, I think Support this, the game. And why this draft was important last night, because... I think this is where the change is going to come with these players that just got drafted last year. Yeah, right. Yeah. Um, they bringing that same energy from Absolutely. college basketball right. to the WNBA, and we've seen that because uh, you know the NBA went through their times in the in the late in the sixties and seventies yeah. where it took Magic and Larry yes. Bird to, to save, save, save the league. Literally, the league was in debt. It was in shambles. The league was in debt. The league was on one leg. <laughs> yeah, and um, I think that's where we get we getting from right. these group of yes. players. Yeah, right and here. it's it's even better too. Because mm-hmm. this sets the stage for Juju when mm-hmm. she comes out. Right. You know what I mean, and they got mm-hmm. more stars to, mm-hmm. to like be those next ones that keep yeah. it going. Mm-hmm. And again, everyone who was, sh- was showing her contract, I was just so I was rolling my eyes because first of all, these are Nike athletes, so they're, 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 they're good. Yeah. They're good, and on top of that, right. they were getting nil money. Yeah, right. So like she's right. she's, she's, she's not broke and, by and, any and, stretch and, of the imagination. Angel Reese was making more right. than some dudes. Yeah. How about like this? in football <laughs> and basketball? How about and nil wise? Fly J just bought a G wag. Exactly. Yes. And she's in college, a yeah. sophomore. So they're getting paid. Yeah. Um, they're getting their endorsement money day. and stuff like that. It's a new day. Mm-hmm. Uh, but this was yeah. really one of the reasons why a lot of females chose the overseas path because right. you right. get more money. Now, the yeah. only other thing with the NWNBA that is that they get, I think, it's free hotel and and they get a car too yeah. or something that's yeah. included in those contracts. Okay. So, I mean, it ain't $10 million, mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah. at the end of the day, like I said, if you continue to support the game, It'll it will grow. grow. It'll grow, yeah, you're right. And uh, what, uh, what also has to happen is a lot of these, if, you know, a lot of these, uh, like, artists and stuff like that that are, you know, well-to-do, these moguls, music moguls that was talking about you need more, you know, uh, African-American ownership, mm-hmm. it's mm-hmm. 12 teams in the WNBA. Now, while the sport is growing, would be the fine time to try to buy yeah, get it. In, get in, get in now, right? You're bring right. The, the Houston Comets. They need to bring them back. Bring I'm, them back. I've been saying they, that. They, they, I've actually, been saying they that. They actually talking about bringing some teams. Bring them back. Um, bring the them Houston back. Houston Comets. Uh, you yeah. already got a team in Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Um, you already have a team in Dallas, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh, you, mm-hmm. I mean, it's a, maybe Florida. Mm-hmm. You know, f- find a market. Get a team. Vegas Megan, has their team. You need another team Megan in California the, outside of Megan, uh, the Sparks. Megan Thee Stallion should be on the phone right now <laughs> trying to get the Houston Comets back. Bro, I'm she was a saying, part owner. I'm yeah, just saying, yeah, bro. Like, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and it's not going to take one person unless you like, just got buku money right, like, uh, just, like the Clippers owner. Right. Right, who's like, even, oh, Magic, oh, even Magic needed yeah. to join a group. Even Magic needed to join a group. They all got a group. Yeah. Get a investment group and make it happen. And get into some ownership and grow the game that way because that will give more players is the opportunity to not only get drafted, mm-hmm. but to you, you have more players. Period. Right. Mm-hmm. Um, you know, right now it's, it's a twelve-team league. If you could get it to sixteen, that's going to grow it. Yeah, it's in itself. Yeah. So I just think that you know, the, it man. I wish I had a few dollars. Man, I definitely would put it's it on, together. It's, it's, on a, group it's on a list, and give bro. Give me a WNBA bro. team. Are you kidding me? I go right to Detroit. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> there ain't no ain't no market there right now for the, for WNBA teams. I, I, Get the WNBA team I, I, to Detroit. I'll go, I'll go, they got I, everything else. I'll go to Houston first. I call up Megan. Yeah. Right. <laughs> That's like, a big market. Yes. Yeah, so I'll be like, bro, like bring them right. bring them back. I'll move down there. There's mad Nigerians down there. Right. I'm saying. 
because of Olajuwon. <laughs> yes, because of Olajuwon. Facts. Before facts. we head really? out, before we oh, head facts, out, facts, right? Facts, facts. Uh, we got to shout out the local teams. Um, Shabazz, uh, girls, flag football team. Yesterday, they had their own version for the ladies, uh, the Soul Bowl. Uh, oh, nice. Oh, That's fine. That's fine. Played against each other, and Shabazz came out on top. Nice. Uh, okay. You know, get. Uh, Probably revenging for the boys uh, uh, losing on, on Thanksgiving. Uh, so Why little congrats. girl number three look familiar? <laughs> is that for Kathy Jones? Oh, okay. She's probably young now. Oh, she graduated. Oh, okay. She graduated. She graduated. Right. She graduated. This look, I'm like, damn, but, that little girl uh, look familiar. Congratulations to Shabazz, man. And I got the rankings right here uh, for the North Jersey girls flag football team. They are ranked. Uh, number six in the state. Mm. Yeah, look, oh, look at Ahmad. Action, action. <laughs> I didn't even realize that was Ahmad down there. Yeah. Shout out to Ahmad. Oh, my, my boy, guy, yeah, my yeah. Yo, it's in the building. Yeah. Yo, it's in the I building. Know, yeah. Springdale, yeah. North 16th yeah. Street, yeah. Park Ave. Park um, yeah. Shout out to the Essex County teams that's on this top uh, 15 list, man, in um, New Jersey. Uh, you have uh, Irvington at number three. Irvington, um, okay. uh, They're doing their thing. North Central, shout out to Coach Mark, man. Uh, North Central. Yeah. Yeah. Like I mentioned, so support the ladies, man. They're doing their thing out there, and um, shout out to the Jets. That's who sponsored this uh, woman. Um, oh, round of applause for the Jets, Jets, man. They just don't get the. They just don't get the recognition because they're, they're the Jets, mm, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> actually, I know that. I actually sat down with that guy and had um, um, lunch with him uh, before that. Own that won the league for the New Jersey. Uh, uh, guys, flag football program. So I'm, I'm definitely gonna have to try to get him up. Oh, yeah, you gotta get him on here, man. Sure, yeah, man. Absolutely, uh, definitely, man. So uh, that'll be a good look. Yes, yes, yes. So uh, actually, tomorrow I'm going to check out North Central. Uh, Mark inviting me, so I'm definitely checking him out. So congratulations to all of them. Uh, man, we got a couple minutes left. You go. Jay, man, thanks for coming up, man. Look, Appreciate let everybody you, know where they can find you at, um, where they can follow the page, man, where they can tune into the show. This is a dope show, man. Definitely oh, thank you so much. Appreciate it, man. Uh, Appreciate it. Tell, so let everybody know where they can find y'all at. Oh, man, I'll kick it off. Uh, uh, myself, uh, you go boy 88 on all platforms. That's TikTok, IG, Facebook, you-goboy.com. I have two YouTube channels. You go boy Media, that's all podcasts. You go boy 88 that's all music. Go stream, you go boy music you hyphen go boy music um on apple music spotify all that good stuff um of course yo tv sports mm -hmm. um it's on the um bravely tv network um we actually were filming tomorrow um uh, I got a new episode coming out of my show. I just filmed with Adnan Verk from yeah. MLB Network for the second time. Uh, we got Patrick Peterson coming up pretty soon. We got Brian McFadden. He's coming to Yo TV Sports in a couple weeks. We're really excited about that. He just he just texted me. He signed off on it. So so yeah, uh, just 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 working, just working. Of course, the Harlem Wizards. They're, they're, <laughs> they're, there's a Wizard game forever. So oh, like, yeah. if, 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 you, if there's a Wizard game in your town, in your state or city, chances are you'll see me doing trick hoops and alley oops with the, with, the, with the fellas, man. So so so. <laughs> Yeah, so yeah, but, but uh, you go boy eighty eight. That's that's the that's the, or you go boy media. That's the easiest way to, to reach me. All right, yeah. well you can find me at I am Jason Enrique on all social media platforms. You can just type in Jason Enrique at Google and you'll find everything there. You'll find my Instagram, my Facebook, my Twitter, Twix, TikTok, <laughs> Threads, the whole nine. Uh, also follow me on Backstage uh, in case anybody didn't know. Your boy's also an actor nowadays. Hey. Uh, hey. Short film is actually out right now on YouTube called Uncle Sid. If you guys want to see me play a bad cop interrogation, yeah. you can see it right there. <laughs> uh, and yeah, uh, obviously, Yo BTV Sports with my lovely co host, Hugo Boy. Uh, I also have new episodes of First Class, Second Place coming out. Uh, just did a, a great episode with uh, my homegirl, Marissa Tong. Uh, I, this week, I got Shem. Who, uh, uh, Wesley, who's uh, one of the actors of one of the TV shows that I worked on called Nights with a K, which is now available on YouTube right now, season three. Mm -hmm. I also acted and directed in that episode. So yeah, just uh, be on the lookout for more. And uh, also check me out on uh, every Tuesday nights, actually right after this show, mm -hmm. I do an IG Live with my homegirl Kim, where we just get on IG Live and we just talk and just talk our shit and, and just bullshit have a good night we talk and no no subject is off of, off limits we talk about acting that's the best we, that's we the talk best. everything from cooking to sex toys everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey man like B said man we do it with respect hey, 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 hey.
Hey. Look, man, we dealing with guys that's doing big things, man. So appreciate y'all. Appreciate definitely, y'all. man. Appreciate y'all for coming through. No doubt. Uh, appreciate the sure, For sure, man. Definitely. Y'all always welcome, man. Yeah. Y'all, yeah. Look, we look, can run it back during, during yeah, the season, yeah, bro. Yeah, no, and we'll definitely, we definitely invite we y'all got, back on ours, too. But, uh, yeah, yeah, definitely. Yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, might even have to get you on our on my platform as well, First Class Second Place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he does also sports talk on his on his personal podcast. Yeah, yeah, Kels. Yeah, my man Kels up there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, listen, man. We'll, we'll definitely yeah. this is the the second of many it's mm-hmm. not the first this is the oh, second and of by many. the way I forgot shout out to Joe Benengo he's actually coming out first class second place real, uh, real soon so hey, be on the Joe lookout for that the GOAT Legend. the GOAT yep. the GOAT yeah, he's, been on, he's, he's been on both our shows too uh, he's been great before I head out I gotta shout out all our sponsors uh uh, Soko Bar and Grill, Gooseheads Insurance, uh, Uncle Sam's Clarity, uh, who else be at home? Uh, SB Real Estate, uh, DM Football, my guy DM Football, who's doing big things out there, man, uh, for sure. And uh, I feel like I'm forgetting somebody. Uh, I, I, actually I, forgot, anybody. I actually forgot somebody. <laughs> uh, we got also shout out Kyrie Williams from oh, New York Posse. Absolutely, yeah. New yeah. York Posse. Yeah. The yeah. nucleus of this happening yes. right now. Yes. Yes. You're not gonna see one of our shows without a New York podcast. <laughs> no. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like you yeah. just get it I'm, I'm rocking it right, rocking now. It right I'm now. Right now. <laughs> right now. Right now. Right now. That's my guy. That's my guy. Once again, man, I want to appreciate y'all for coming up on the show, man. Next week, we doing another podcast uh, show. I think we're going to have Run It Back podcast uh, come mm. through here. Uh, so be the lookout for that, man. Like we said, we want to collaborate with every po- sports podcast um, team around here, man. So that's what we're definitely doing uh, for the year 2024 for so. Uh, so definitely tune in to that next week. We got the Blazing Smith Show coming up next, the craziest two hours of your life. So stay <laughs> locked in to the 8 Squad River Radio um, TV. And, um, that's pretty much it. B, you got anything before we head out? I have nothing to do. All right, all right. All right, man. We'll see y'all next week. Deuces. Peace. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff, boys. Good stuff, boys. Professionals over here. I like that. I like that.